Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike. I am Jay. And together, our powers form when we put our butt cheeks together and then we fart. Aladdin comes out of our cheeks and he grants everyone here a wish tonight. Specifically Jay, because it's his birthday. Go, go, Mighty Morphin Gaybot. <laughs> I love it. You're going to get whatever you want. Two fingers, mm. I meant three. Yeah. Oh, dude, check this out. Uh, April got this for my birthday. Uh, I don't know if you've got this or if you guys have ever heard of it. It's uh, it's the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life, his book. Dude, I, I got that on, uh, I don't have the book, but I have the on, on the audio book. She got me a signed copy. Oh, shit. They have, was it a Joseph Beth? Uh, no, I don't know. She ordered it, but look. Fuck, dude, that's awesome. There's yeah. nothing like an Arnold Schwarzenegger autograph. Yeah, it's, it's like he did, like apparently he was signing like 300 a day or like maybe more. Like, that's that's. That's a solid gift, man. That's great. I know. I, I don't even I have like, yeah, I, was like, I was like, are you trying to tell me? She's like, be useful. I was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Like, so if you go to Joseph Beth, I learned this like back in the day. Joseph Beth's a large, it's a huge bookseller here in Kentucky. It's actually pretty cool. Like, if you go in, it's a huge, beautiful place. They have an escalator inside of a bookstore, which is wild. It's just that everything's really expensive. So you just go to look and you don't touch. But um, yeah. they sell. A lot of times they sell new books. If you go to like the autobiographical, like the new autobiographical, yep. autobiographical section, yep. uh, if there's like a famous person who wrote a book, a lot of times, like 50% of the time, they'll have the book signed by the guy who did it. Like I bought Katie a, a book signed by like Steve Martin and shit like that. But if I knew that Arnold Schwarzenegger signed books would be there, I would have gone. I don't know if that's yeah, what she no, got I, it from, but... I have no idea where she got I think she just ordered it. Um, but I don't know. It was, yeah, it was cool. It was unexpected, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Gift. Uh, then I was telling Mike earlier, uh, my TV died this morning, which fucking sucked. I had a high sense, so it was only a matter of time, I know. And I it died, but I guess I, I it was a good deal. I got I went to Walmart um after it died and I got a it was a 4K TV. You guys were fucking right. Yeah, dude. Dude, I know. I uh, the first movie, I like as soon as I plugged it in, it, it got done setting up and everything, it was a Vizio. I was like, I uh I was like, this damn this picture looks clear. I've never seen it like it in my life, dude. It's like I've been watching black and white TV, and so I, and then, and I got on uh, Amazon. I was like, I, I got Amazon Prime. I was like, I got to try this. So I, I I put in Top Gun Maverick, and yeah. watched it. And I was like, dude, I felt like John Coffey in the Green Mile. I was like, I had never seen me one of them flicker shows before. <laughs> <laughs> dude, wait crazy. until wait until see if I'd have known you were gonna do that instead of getting what you I, what I got you, I would have got you a 4K player because no, wait until I got like, a PS5. So it plays 4K. Oh, does it? Okay, well, yeah. sweet then. Yeah. No, so like, uh, but when they play, when, when, like, it's even better. Like, the streaming 4K is nice, but when you put in an actual disc, it's even fucking better, dude. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, I, I was trying, I wanted to watch uh, Terminator 2 um, because it said that you could, it had 4K. And I got Paramount Plus, but it's not the 4K version. But now I want to try everything in 4K. I was like, where's the Ghostbusters 4K? I want to try all the, like, with the lights and all that. I want to watch Star Wars in 4K. You motherfucker, you're making fun of me. You're like, I don't have 4K. I don't care. And now once you see it, though, you're like, I need to see it all. <clears throat> I was that crotchety old man that was like, there's there's no, like, that, like, like in the fucking uh, civil rights, it's like that asshole. was like, there's no way integration can ever work. No way. <laughs> or or segrega segregation is the only way. And then finally when it does, and at the end of the movie, he's like, I, I, I was wrong. I was set my ways. I, I just didn't know him. Jerry Jones was definitely upset about segregation. We all know that. He was pictured in a in a photo of that that. But never mind, that's a different topic altogether. Uh but yeah, dude, that's not a bad thing though. Like it sucks that your TV broke on your birthday. Yep. But technically you got a new TV for your birthday. Yeah, I just had to pay for it, which sucked. <laughs> which is the <laughs> shitty part. I was, only, yeah. I, I was with April. I was like, "Can you pay for it?" She's like, "No." I was like, "All right." This one. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I I hate it going in there because I have I literally haven't been in Walmart in like five years. Like it's been, like it, I I felt like I just got out of like the joint and I was seeing things for the first time. And I was like, "Oh, they changed the floors!" Like I was just amazed because they they've renovated our Walmart. It used to be like really crappy tile, and now it's all smooth concrete looking. Jesus and I'm like, Christ. this is amazing. And I was we like, got to get you out more. Jay. I was like, they we moved the toy more. aisle next to the electronic center. What is this crazy sorcery? I love I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna have to come over your house and fucking tase your ass. I know. Yeah. I, and then I was out there, and the guy was like, they even got slabs now in the back of the electronics where you can put the TVs on. And you have to carry them around the store. Like you used to, because <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was telling her, I was like, I was like, I was like, baby, grab the other end and we'll just carry it up to the front. And she's like, baby, you can put it on that slab. I was like, that's a worker slab. That's for them in the back room. Don't tell don't me work here. And then I, she's like, and then the guy I was like, is this for anybody to use? He's like, yeah, man, you can use that. 
And then I brought it over to the, the check I got. And he was like, I was like, yeah, man. My, he was like, oh, you going to get yourself a TV and not me one? And I'm like, shut up. Because they were trying to make a joke. And I was like, this is awkward. And then I was like, ah. And then he was like, I was like, yeah, man, my TV died this morning. So hopefully this one will last. And he was like, well, you were watching it too much. I'm like, fucking suck Thanks, cookie, Jim. Bitch. Yeah, and it's like, we were, yeah, I, I always, yeah, it was, but it's, I mean, I guess it did work out because I got to see 4K and I never see, I thought I'd see it. The, <laughs> I, big, yeah, I think it's well, funny. The, next, the big thing now apparently is OLED TVs are better than 4K, but they're like anywhere, like, I think the lowest cost is like $1,600. Yeah, there's always a new thing that you can afford. That's why I stopped buying physical media for a time there. I started buying it again since I got a 4K player, but for a minute, I took a break from buying it because it's like once 4Ks came out, I got so fucking pissed, dude. I spent so much money and got in so much trouble with my oh, wife sure. spending money on fucking Blu rays, and then they're like, here's the new one, and it's even better. And I was like, God. Damn it! Yeah, dude. It's like apparently, so, it's like either eight thousand or eight million more pixels or something. I don't know what it is, but it's. I had to look up what the difference is. But I mean, you have to see it to believe it. Like I didn't think it would. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't think there'd be any difference until I saw it. And then, like I said, it was like it was a whole new experience. It was like it was like you know seeing a, a moving train, like when they built the train tracks. Like that's a train. I've never seen one before. It sounds like it's been a pretty good birthday for you so far. You got a sweet fucking haircut. It looks good, by the way. You got a new fucking TV. You got an Arnold Schwarzenegger autograph. Jesus Christ. It's like a seven-year-old's birthday. This yeah, but I had to pay for day. two out of the three things. Yeah, but, you know, details. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, but the o I really wanted to get the OL OLED because but they were saying you, know, you could get on a payment plan, but I didn't want to pay like $300 fucking dollars a month for something like that because of yeah. The, it, what makes that so better than 4k is the backlighting of it, it looks amazing but you got to get like the big like i guess to see the real big difference on an oled tv is like a 65 inch or bigger so yeah. that you can really see it but i mean it's like somebody said that they went to the movie theater to watch it i don't know what it was but they were like that doesn't even look good as good as what we have at the house because they watched it when it came out and they watched on their oe oh I, I wish they'd come up with the fucking lead their lead fucking tv and it was apparently it was like night and day better than even the theater yeah well i i, I get it dude like spending that much money on tv sucks like we got this i like, got a 70 inch sony bravio or whatever and i fucking hate it like the picture looks good yeah but like i fucking hate it dude like the the um the internet on it sucks because that where well, they're all smart tvs like half of the battle with the tv now is like finding one that has a decent internet and this internet fucking sucks the tv stops like constantly i have to unplug it I don't. I don't remember how much it was. It was a payment plan TV. I'll tell you that much right well, my, now. I got. I, I did, well, mine was like. I think it was like two. Like total, it was two thirty eight with tax. Yeah, that's and that, they, they're cheaper now. And it was a fifty inch. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's, I, it's, I, it, like, I, I could have spent like a hundred. Like it was one hundred and ten dollar more for the LG because that's, that's what I wanted. And then I was like, I'm just. I, I'm. I'm being cheap today. I was like, I'm already pissed off that I have to fucking spend money today yeah. at all. So I went ahead and got the Vizio, but. And I, I have, I don't know. I hope it lasts you because I've not had good experience with Vizio. Oh, it's a Vizio. Vizio? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you this. The first Vizio TV I had back when they were kind of fucking thick, they were like that thick. Even mm -hmm. the flat screens were that thick was a fucking banger, dude. That, that TV was fucking amazing, but I got a Vizio in the other room yep. and it fucking sucks shit. I, had, like, I think I had, they changed how they made their TVs. I, know, or something. I had a 32 inch a long time ago and it, 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 it cracked out on me, but I mean, it's a, uh, I, like the high sense that I, I had high sense, and I knew that that was a cheap manufacturer. My brother talked me into getting it, but it was it, it last. The what happened is is like it like I turned it on this morning, and then it, it it was on, and then it went off, and then the red light on the bottom started blinking, and it blinked like four times, and it wouldn't turn back on. And it was like check the power connectors, and I did all that shit. I tried to like, I, and then they're like, oh, it's probably a hardware problem. There's a like a faulty like power supply problem and i'm like well fuck it. it's i i don't i don't have the goddamn know-how tools i don't watch yeah. bob Bila on the regular i can't and it wasn't an expensive stuff. tv anyway was it like it was a, no, it that, was no, a that, TV, that tv was like the hisense tv was like 150 140 bucks yeah basically when something goes wrong with one of those you just fucking go outside and break it like you're in office space yeah just for fun but i was like i'm not steve gates i'm steve jobs <laughs> steve gates is like the I, I, i'm obligation amalgamation I can't say that fucking word. Amalgamation. Amalgamation. Between, uh, you know what? The joke is over and I'm moving on. <laughs> Power Rangers. Amalgamate. Uh, yeah. Right, I got I got I did. That's another thing she got me. I, I, I went on break. I'll bring it up and show you guys. She got me a Green Ranger statue. Nice. That's not, not like it wasn't like, not like, you know, the hot toys, like a $700, right. but it was still fucking sweet. That's, I mean, a Red Ranger one would be better. No, but still, it's not the Green Ranger one's not bad. That's not a bad deal. It's not as good as Red Ranger one, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. Uh, Julia got there somewhere else. 
Hey, I shut your mouth. About it. I don't want to hear shut your fucking it. mouth. Do you guys like the Green Ranger or the White Ranger better? Like, let's be honest. I think the Green Ranger looks sexier, and he's got more of a bad boy attitude. He's also got the gold shield, looks awesome, and he's got a flute that summons a dragon. I do like the I, I like the Green Ranger better than the White Ranger um, because if you're um, avoiding racism. We appreciate that, but really, yeah, that's the point. But I, I I do like the hue, the bluish hue. I could feel it in my plums. I like the hue of like the green, like the way that looks yeah. like on the helmet was pretty sweet. Uh, white too. I'm just thinking, dude, you're out there fighting putties in the desert. You're going to stain that fucking thing. Yeah, dude, what if, you it. It. If, if he was nervous, if he, <laughs> he would have a crack stain on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you know what? I remember that episode though. Remember when, uh, when the white Ranger was introduced and it was like this big deal and they left a cliffhanger and like Kimberly passed out because there was a big white light in Zordon's temple. And then, and then, then with the follow-up episode, you could see the boots come down first. And then he's like, Ooh. and then he takes off his helmet. He's like, what's up guys? With his ponytail, I was like, "Tommy, <laughs> you're back." See, Kimberly already was struggling with going from the power of the Green Ranger's dick from the Red Ranger's dick, and when then a new, a bigger dick showed up, that's why she passed out. She's like, "I can't take this. That's Dude, too much." Uh, before he passed, they, he was in the process of uh, not Austin St. John. What was his name? Uh, the Green Ranger, da uh, Jason David Frank. Jason David Frank. I, I, apparently, he was in the process along with the other former cast members to do like a darker version of Power Rangers, in which. Like the idea was pretty solid. Like it was an alternate reality version of the Green Ranger, which the Green Ranger never lost his powers and he remained evil. And then he combined the powers of the White Ranger and he became Lord Dakin or Dakon. And he killed the other Rangers. Dude, he looked That's fucking cool. sick. That suit is badass. It's got elements of the of the tiger suit from the White Ranger mixed in with the green uh dragon ranger. See, the, dude, that would be super dope or, if they did a storyline like that. Like, leave the weapon to it up, you know? Like, have the White Ranger kill off a couple Rangers, and then Jason has to stop him. You know, that would be pretty That's, what he, that's what he wanted to do. It was basically... Uh, Jason David Frank was pretty much now, like, the most evil version that he could... Like, if the Green Ranger never got freed from the curse, and he killed uh, Rita, and he killed Zed, and then he took over, and then he was going around collecting the powers of alternate realities, and then the original OG Rangers had to team up to fight him. It's insane they don't do that. Like, like, hear me out. I, I know that, like, Power Rangers came out in movie theaters, but, like, why are we still trying to peddle Power Rangers to kids? They don't fucking care. They have TikTok. They have iPhones. It's true. They have all those shits. Let's take the Power Rangers and market it to the fucking people who grew up with it and say, we're going to dirty this shit up. We're going to make it R-rated. We're going to make this whole crazy in-depth storyline. We're going to hire fucking the dude who wrote Nightcrawler. I forgot that guy's fucking name. I got we're going to hire some dark fucking movie writer to write yep. a twisted deep fucking dramatic ass power rangers movie and we're gonna sell it to fucking adults yeah let the, let, the, let the newer kids eat their fucking tide pods on tiktok fuck them. yeah like that's how dumb they are they eat tide pods but here's the other thing by the way i mean i think that the the uh power rangers movies they released in theaters not long ago i like that movie i like that version i was looking forward to the sequel because they they teased uh tommy at the end of the movie yeah, and then it never came. But you know, nothing that ever happened of it. I don't know because it didn't money. either. I don't know if it's because it didn't make money. I don't. I think it was because it didn't make money. But it yeah. sucks because I, I think they did a good job with that. Maybe they just went a little too Michael Bayish with it, and that's why people got turned off. Ironically, I want to say we're so fucking old that the kids who were, like we made a reference about Tide Pods, but like the kids who are eating Tide Pods are probably like doctors now. That's true. <laughs> They're probably yeah. like full so, fucking. Uh, it was, at, it was after I ingested basically poison that I realized <laughs> that I had an affinity for anatomy. And I became a doctor. Uh, you no, gotta find your way somehow. You know, you know? I basically tested the poisons for humanity. <laughs> uh, no, well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, dude. Like Power Rangers. If I were Saban, and of course, you know, he's he's a genius in how he markets and 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 he's he made himself like a quadrillionaire off yeah, of it's like Dino off, a, off a Japanese Sentai show, which he doesn't. Even, he just pay, fucking takes their content and like puts it over like uh, the American actors, and then he has all the action sequences already shot and done in Japan. That's yeah, amazing. If you, guys, if you guys in the chat don't know, like that's what Saban did. Like, if you go watch, uh, is it the Toys That Made Us or is it like uh, the what Toys was the That Made Us mentioned it? Yeah, the Toys That Made Us mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, they told that story. It's fucking crazy how genius Power Rangers was because all the, the all the shots of the teens' actings were acting were shot in America, but yeah. all the actual Power Rangers fighting shit he just reused from an old that's Japanese TV and, show. And not, like, and not to mention the fact that the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers version that we got as Americans, which is the ver very first Power Rangers show. That was like the fucking seventh or eighth season of uh of the Japanese Super Sentai was what it was yeah. called over in Japan. That was like their eighth season, so they'd that's already been doing. Dick. Yeah, a Super Sentai. Yeah, that's what I scream when I come. But that's what like uh, but that's what they 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 Super were. Sentai. Yeah. <laughs> Super Sentai. Super Sentai. 
do 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 do. Where'd you pull that flute from? Don't you worry about it. By the way, I wouldn't touch it. It's my Sunday. That's why I pulled it. (laughs) No, but you know, uh, yeah, but the Super Sentai series has been around in Japan since the 70s. Like, that was already a big fucking thing. And then the Zeo Rangers, if you guys remember the Zeo thing that came after, remember the, the Power Rangers lost their power and they had to be the Zeo Rangers after the that? xenophobic Rangers. Yeah, they were fucking racist shit. Uh, lock up the border. Uh, but no, I, it was but it was like that was like all that shit was so pre- and, and it was so genius because Nick Saban was like, I have fucking decades of material to use over there. Like, they've got decades worth of shit that I can pull back from and use. And all we got to do is put like some barely any kind of money. Like, cause I, apparently uh, Nick Saban paid the actors, like the original power Rangers, like shit, they got nothing. Yeah. And that's why Jason, David, Frank, not Jason. I mean, not Jason, Austin, St. John, David, uh, not David, Austin, St. John, Walter Jones and uh, Amy Jo Johnson are not, maybe Amy yeah. Jo Johnson. they all yeah, tried to get him. like, yeah, they were trying to get more money. And, and, and uh, the green Ranger uh, was like, no, like, because they were going to confront Nick Saban, uh, Nick, Sab- Nick Saban, and be like, "Hey, man, you are making like hundreds of millions of fucking dollars, and we're not getting a bump in pay." Because apparently those guys weren't getting anything. But that's what I mean. That's I mean, smart ass business guy, smart as fuck. Yeah, and I think I think Saban Films is still a thing. I think they do a bunch of like low budget shit. Speaking of which, I saw a movie tonight, dude. Not a good one. I I won't say it wasn't good. I'll say. I know you wouldn't have enjoyed it, what and I'll it? say that it was called Stop Motion, and I'm gonna I'm gonna film like a review for it or whatever. But fuck me, dude! I, I drove all the way in the fucking rain, man. I drove all the way to fucking Regal because it was the only place it was playing. Because I thought this movie was gonna be scary. Sp- right? Stop Motion sounds like fucking Sparkle Motion the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to doubt your commitment to Sparkle Motion. Uh, I saw this movie, and uh, dude, I was alone, like in the theater. Like I got to the theater, and I was the only fucking person in there. And you know how, how hard it was fucking raining today. I drove all the way to fucking Regal, which is like 45, 55 minutes away. Yeah. Um, I should have fucking called your ass since it was closer to you. Like, but you would have been disappointed. In what, what time uh, did you go? It was at 4, 10. I would have gone. I was up. PM. Uh, but I, uh, well, if I know you would have gone. Well, well, Carl, if I knew you would have liked the Trisket crackers, I would have offered you one. If no, I knew you would have gone. Day, I would have gone. I'd be like, I April, drop me off in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> if I had an eagling, you might want to go. Like, I was like, my girlfriend, my, my wife's going to drop me off and she'll pick me up. Properly when the movie ends. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're glad you you didn't miss anything. Like I'm not, again, it was a good movie, but dude, it's just goddamn. It took itself so fucking seriously that it was so boring. What was it? By the time it got to the good shot, dude, I'm not I'm not no. lying to you. Uh, you don't well, it's, know? I don't. Well, now it's 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 about a person who makes stop motion films who becomes obsessed and then like shit goes. It's an A24 like shit goes oh. crazy. And it's hard to explain, but like. I'm not lying to you, dude. Before it got to the good shit, I was the only one in the fucking theater, and I was in those fucking scoot back seats. Oh, yeah. And I was so fucking bored at one point. I was watching. I wasn't asleep, but I was laid all the way the fuck down in the chair like this because I was alone in the theater, so I was, like, farting out loud and shit like yeah. that, like, the entire time. <laughs> yeah. I was, like, playing on my phone, like, <clears throat> farting and shit. It's a good time. And, like, I was sitting there like this, like, literally, like, watching out of the corner of my eye like this, all the way laid back in the chair. And the fucking dude who works there comes in. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking flashlight where he looks for it. and he goes to leave but then he realizes i look like i'm passed out in the fucking chair yeah and then he stops and he looks at me i had to like get up and go hey man i'm fine i'm just fucking bored and he's like all right <laughs> and i just played yeah. back down and finished watching the you know what he, what he did he probably went back to his co-workers like that is like the saddest loser <laughs> i've ever seen in my life he's in there by himself He's either wanking it or he's got no life. I, don't I was scared like. he thought I was touching myself. I thought, yeah, I, if I had walked in there and I saw one dude like, <laughs> like that, I would have like I would have gone up the ramp and like tried to shine the light over to see if I could see his wiener. <laughs> Just like a like a fucking uh, graboid in the dark. Uh no shit. Like I legit had a thought, like, I hope that guy doesn't think I'm fucking jerking off over here. I like because I was that like that's the first thing. Because if there was nobody that was like stop motion, who's nobody even fucking cares? And then there's nobody. this one guy with glasses that comes yeah. in and fucking sits down and like by himself in the dark is lean back. I mean, the first thought's like he's definitely jacking off in his panties. But yeah. by the way, I, the one you I one pathetic loser. <laughs> I saw a horror movie that looked pretty good. Uh I didn't I haven't watched it because it's not out yet, but imaginary, that looks pretty fun. CJ, that's the problem though. It's a Blumhouse film. You shut up! If I want to go on the goddamn <laughs> cup ride at Disney World, I'll go I, on the cup I ride. I can't believe you think that looks good, you fucking yeah, hole. Because hole. it's like it's it, it just looks fun. 
Yeah, but it's a Blumhouse movie. It's going to be like Megan. Nothing's going to fucking happen. Yeah, and it's going to be the bear going. Oh, no, no, no. I, I enjoy mean, Dark Souls. I enjoy that kind of shit. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, but like you wouldn't have liked the Thregan. Well, that's what? not fair. If you didn't, if you didn't watch the commercials, you might have liked Mithrigan. But it was all in the commercials, though. No, I mean, I'm not saying like it's going to be like a, like a groundbreaking movie. And I'm not even a huge fan of Blumhouse. Obviously, I've said things about them, but I will say that that looked like a fun, just stupid movie. Well, I'm going to hold you to it. We're going to see it on Thursday fucking night when it comes out, and you're going to review it with me, you fucking piece of shit. How about that? That's fine. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'll dress up as a pirate, but I might do it. And no, and you're not allowed to drink through it. You have to sit fucking no, sober through not, the whole no, fucking no, movie, and then we're going to come back together. I operate. That's not the way I do business around here. <laughs> I did see it, dude. My, when I went to this, funny, dude, because I, I was fucking covered in rain, and I'm standing there waiting to get my shitty fucking... By the way, Regal and, and Hamburg, fucking worse, dude. They, they don't even mad. have... To, yeah, dude, it sucks. They don't even have Coke products. You have to get fucking Diet Pepsi if you want a fucking soda. Oh, that's 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 a mistake. See, Taco Bell is almost a perfect tin except for that shit. Yeah, and they have. Oh, yeah, but at least at Taco Bell you can get a Diet Mountain Dew or a Baja Blast. This place doesn't even have Diet Mountain Dew. Oh. I got the Flame and Hot Cheetos popcorn, motherfucker. They gave me. A, <laughs> I didn't even know they made that shit. Yeah, no, they gave me a fucking a box this big, and it was just a bunch of popcorn mixed with fucking Flame and Hot Cheetos. There was nothing special about it, and then. It was funny, dude, because I, I, I laughed my ass off. I was standing in line, and I was late. I was like, fuck, I got to get into this movie. I made it on time, but uh, this, this fucking old white dude with, like, long white hair wearing, like, jogging pants came, like, stumbling out of the movie. And he, there was the bar section over there. Yeah. But they, they didn't even have, there was only one uh, they, they, per, bartender. Person, yeah, no, there, there was only one person even making popcorn because it was 4 uh, o'clock on a yeah, fucking Thursday. Worse. I know. So there was this in the corner. There was no one at the fucking bar, and they had all this bright, beautiful, cool I drinks know. and shit. But yeah. no one there. It sucks. And this dude came out with long white hair and big old glasses, looked like Marcus Scorsese on coke. <laughs> he came out and he goes. He came from the theater to go to the bar and yeah. goes. Do I can I can just like, like walk back in? Listen, he might be a sad alcoholic, but I can understand that fucking sad Raiden man because I've been there before too, dude. I I don't know what movie it was, and it was in the mid afternoon. I wanted to fucking drink. They got a goddamn bar. They advertise that it's available, <laughs> and then I walked in and there's nobody fucking working it. And I'm like, you got three fucking people. You got one dude playing with his ball sack at a, at, a, at the fucking ticket booth, tearing it off. There's nobody coming in. It's not like a wave of people. What the fuck's he doing? I, no, I'm mean, like seriously. And then I like what I did with to look not like an alcoholic. I walked around and looked at like I was gonna purchase something from the popcorn stand and like, oh, that looks interesting. I wonder if they have snow caps. And I wasn't interested in that. And then I, I walked around in a circle and went out like acting like I was like I looked like I was fucking a prospector looking for like gold. And I was looking around, and then I, and then I, because I thought I saw someone like starting to go over to the booth, to the to the bar, and I was like, oh, maybe they open up at a certain time. So I was like, I'll just like my movie didn't start for twenty minutes, so I was like, sit here and wait, dude. I fucking did, dude. I waited because I was like, did anybody ever show up? Yeah, they fucking did because I was like, you know what? I'm not even mad because I'm gonna walk in late to the theater because all they're gonna be showing is bullshit uh, previews, and I've seen them all. You got if you go if you go to a Cinemark or Regal, you have a twenty five minute carte blanche wait like show up to the movie late because there are going to be 20 to 25 minutes of previews garen fucking teeth yeah well it's it's i don't know why you're advertising as a as a theater that offers drinks if you're not going to be manning the bar yeah to be fair like, like, and like you don't want to be that guy that goes up to the popcorn maker but can you please go make me a fucking jack and coke what the fuck are you doing <laughs> <laughs> that's, he's like, sad part. that's the that that's the saddest part it's like dude sir it's 11 in the morning yeah <laughs> nobody nobody wants to be the one to complain and what like, they time know. is it 12 hours later in australia the world still keeps revolving <laughs> see i don't like to drink when i watch scary movies like i want to no, be I like well i just like it because it's available yeah, well, I get that. I'm an alcoholic. It's like, hey, I, open bar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, if I don't have other proclivities, like, sure, yeah, it'd be great. But like, no, I don't. I don't like to drink when I watch it. We used to do that all the time. Uh, when the start of the channel, like when when Jay and I, they, there was a movie theater in uh in Lexington called Movie Tavern. There still is one, but it's further away now, and it's not as cool. But we would always go. They would have, and I know you know this, That's but like they would time, have. Though. Yeah, Thursday nights, the, the movies wouldn't come out until Thursday night at midnight. So you yeah. had to go on Thursday night at midnight. So I'll be like, Jay, we're going to go see fucking Ted 2. He'd be like, why, dude? Nobody cares. I'm like, Jay, we're going to see fucking Ted 2. Well, it was midnight. great, but, but we also got to, we, we saw a fucking basketball player. Like we did, we saw, yeah, in you know, I mean, he was like, he's not famous or anything, but he was not famous. Us. He, he, was our, he was our college basketball player. Like, he played for UK. I was like, yeah. hey, that guy. 
We had some good nights there. I remember when we went and seen Magic Mike with a couple friends and came back and snuck in the that house the and, and got so shit faced I almost got fired from work the next day. Yeah, but- that was well, that wasn't the worst. Uh, yeah, the, the after of that was bad. But the uh, we also well, I think we went and seen um, Prometheus there and we got fucking drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you guys want to see some fucking terrible oh YouTube, that was bad. Go, go and look up Jay and I's review of Prometheus. That was some bad YouTube work right there. Like, I think the uh, worst. I, and I, well, you know what? Now that I'm 40, and I mean, those were mistakes of my youth. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> uh, I, I remember when Mike yeah, and I, never gonna be when Mike, no, 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 not no, you. No, when me and Mike went and seen Silent House uh, with a friend of ours, <laughs> uh, and the friend, uh, friend of his, the friend was like, and he he didn't drink, but me and Mike were fucking toasted on both sides. We were like, he's like, you guys should come back to my studio and I'll help you write a song. You know, like we watched a movie like yeah, that this, was written that night. Just so uh, you guys know, this is a guy. He's a super sweet dude. Uh, yeah. he, he when I was in a band, he he made our album for us. Uh, but uh, he had he has a legit fucking full on oh, yeah, major he's... actual studio. Uh, I don't know if he still has it or not uh, in Lexington. And and that's where he invited us back to. So obviously we're going to fucking go. Yeah, well, I right? mean, we were hammered. I mean, we fucking gone. Yeah, I mean, we have like three these pictures. Are, these were tavern. mistakes of the youth, so I'm not I'm not condoning or and saying go do this shit. We were stupid. I shouldn't have done this, but I was. Mike was like, "Oh, we gotta go because we need the theme song for our our channel." Because well, we didn't we didn't know we were gonna do it. No, 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 we didn't know that. He didn't say that. He just said, "Come back and I want to help you guys film something like fancy." Like, yeah, he, he was just to, a like, cool like, dude. Like, yeah, Cole. Yeah, I, or I don't want to say his name, but like he uh, like he basically helped us. Like it looked like inside the actor studio. Like it was that like high profile to what we were used to. I got wait, wait, dude, wait, wait, wait. It's it's our video, so like I could show it. Like I could I could do that. Like no, but let me get to this one thing though. What 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 happened was is that uh, he told I didn't know where he lived, and I thought Mike fucking knew because Mike had worked with him when he was in the band with my brother. As I was like, oh yeah, Mike knows, and he was like, I'm gonna go ahead and drive ahead, and you just follow me. I'm like, cool, and I told Mike, I was like, dude, I'm I gotta get some fucking peanuts or something like. You did too. You ate those fucking fifty cent spicy. I know, dude. I stopped at a fucking gas station, which, by the way, again, I did something stupid. And I shouldn't have been doing it, but I was like, I'm gonna stop here and get some goddamn peanuts, dude, because I need some salt. I'm fucking like it's all absorbing. And by the way, this was the night that my ex fucking Godzilla wife, Mike, had parked behind her, and she was gonna be late for the gym. And holy shit, that's another part two of this. That's the yeah. Empire Strikes Back. But anyway, uh, I we stopped at that gas station, and I, I got us peanuts, and, and we were eating it in the car. God damn, we we're fucking fat slobs. We we're just eating it falling in our fucking faces and i was like you know where he was like no dude he's like, i think he went that way <laughs> like he's like i went that way it's we're like, following him back to his studio yeah we and then we finally arrived at his studio which, at 2 by 30 way, in the morning yeah it was 2 30 in the morning and it was great dude he not only wanted to film us doing a review for the movie he wanted us to do a sketch with it like yeah. and he and dude it was like we weren't used to that shit like we were going from like Blair Witch Project to like Michael fucking Fassbender like Michael Bay <laughs> productions with this like it was big and then he wrote that song for us we watched the movie and then he was sitting there and I was I, I never I had never met this guy in my life he was great I thought he was a nice guy he was like what I just did for you guys that's ten thousand dollars I was like I'm not paying <laughs> but, yeah, he, I, he wasn't saying it like that but i thought like yeah. he was being like well I like you know I thought he was like doing a charlatan thing like I just made this now you owe me ten grand I'm like, I'm not paying you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, he's like, yeah, that. He, and he wanted, and, and and just so you guys know, he wanted to do it. Like, he's just a fucking cool dude. Yeah. That, he gave us a discount when he recorded our band demos and shit like that. But he was like, no, I want to do it. But then when he got that, he was like, he was like, yeah, that was probably about five thousand dollars worth of work I just did for you guys there. Yeah. And we're like, oh, do you want this coupon to save a lot? He was like, no, I really don't want anything. He was like, I just did it because I love you guys. He yeah, was, I was like, I was like, you're, I was like, you're Mike's friend. I didn't ask for shit. <laughs> that was like me and you at the strip club that one time when I told that stripper to give you a dance. Yeah. But then after she gave you a dance, she wanted me to pay for it. And I was like, no. I mean, he got the dance. And then we got kicked out. Yeah, I was like, like, was like wait a minute. came up and started shoving us out of the doors. I was like, you sucked my dick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh on that aspect you guys are in for a treat tonight if you've not seen this before this is what came out of this night okay but first off let me preface this we went back to his studio and we were out. hanging out we'll be back. okay we're having a great fucking time we're having a blasty blast right jay's phone all night long in this dude's studio uh coleman's fucking super sweet guy he's awesome uh all night long, Jay's phone's fucking buzzing, fucking buzzing. And again, it was the midnight movie for Silent House with Elizabeth Olsen, 
We didn't get out of there. It's like two thirty, and we weren't that bad off. But we did have a couple pitchers, and then we go back to his house, and he just chugs monsters all night long. Yeah. And he has this badass like pad that's at the same place as the studio. And I'm telling you, like like I said, he recorded our band. He has it's it's a legit studio. Like yeah, there is great. glass. You sing on a microphone behind glass, like in a studio door. He's got like seven Apple monitors. He's watching, doing like a whole fucking thing. And we're in there hanging out. And uh, this is what came out of that night. But the whole night, Jay's phone's bzz, 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 no, bzz, bzz. awful. And finally he looks and he's like, he gets on the phone. I was like, dude, tell her, calm the fuck down. He's like, and Jay goes, Mike, I'm going to get a fucking divorce. She's gonna yeah, because she dropped, she dropped the D word. She yeah. dropped the D word. That's what he said. And it was all because. You parked behind was, her. I parked in front of the fucking garage and she couldn't go to the fucking gym before work. That was it was like six o'clock in the morning. She's like, I can't go to the fucking gym. Yeah, so she's like, I can't I can't suck fucking Leon's dick, my trainer at the gym. <laughs> Little did we know at the time. Um, but all right, so here's the video that came out of that. Just you and by, by the way, thank you guys so much for the super chats. I, I oh, do see them coming up. Yeah. We are gonna get to all those for sure. We're just you know, it's we don't have a topic tonight, we're just fucking hanging out for Jay's birthday. Um, check this out though. Like, we gotta watch this because as we talked about it, um, this was what we. This was the review we did for Silent House. Well, hang on, I got to make sure I have the audio on it. Is this the um, one we were filming in the studio with? Him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a little this skit. In there. Like, this shit was like, yeah, the skits in there. This is like a TRL, like back in the day. <laughs> the way he shot it, it's like moving around. It's the shit. It's like TRL. Yeah, and this. By the way, this dude is a legit fucking like uh, producer of stuff. Like yeah. he's done some bands that have won like CMT Music Awards and shit like that. Like he's done a lot of stuff around the area. He's good at what he does. But this was just a couple hours of us fucking around, and having a good time. Yeah. What are you doing, Daddy? Just packing. Uh, I'm just packing up. Yeah, I'm just packing up some stuff. Yeah. Where's uh, I never acted in front of anybody else before. So it doesn't matter where Uncle Peter is. Don't worry about it. Uh, as a matter, of, as a matter of fact, you might want to go upstairs and get your my stuff tits. packed up. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh. <clears throat> those are maracas in my as my tits, by the way. Um, yeah, you guys remember those Marvel Red Smalls? <laughs> I had that fat fucking chin strap. This is like 20... Was it 13? It's probably the 1990s. I don't know. No. We, I, 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 it was... Um, Daddy, I 2013 or 2014. I can't remember. It had to be 2013 because my fourth was finalized in 2014. Where were you? What was that? I got pissed at Cole. I was like, Mike's not the fucking star, dude. <laughs> Why are you zooming on his fucking face? You're missing my womanly scream. Oh. 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 You're safe now. <laughs> That's the birth of the We Watched the Movie song. Sure. Are we filming right now? <laughs> Welcome back to We Watched the Movie. Dude, I'm Mike. TRL. That's Jay. Hey. And we have a special episode today for you coming to you from the studio of America. Oh my Show. god. My fucking skinny hairline was even on point there. Man, I like what was I do doing with my hair? You do crazy <laughs> words. Yeah, you could follow him at America's True, naturally, on Twitter. All his information will this be is below. Also, we were going I just clicked off the video. I, we were looking so bring it to me, Mike. What are we talking about? We're going to talk right, about, we have a film review for Silent House. Yeah, and he was going. Silent House. Silent House, the house that was silent. Is it a horror movie or is it a psychological movie? It's a horror movie. And don't horror slash me. psychological. How about you that? Just How about you don't interrupt you me? Just go ahead. Put you in a silent house. Shh. Elizabeth Olsen is the actress. Yeah. I can't think of her name in the movie, but she gets trapped in a house. And um, it's a single shot take. She gets trapped in a house, and there's a stalker, um, killer, something God, is, 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 is trying something to Something is a Something's right. in the house, and she's, of course, it. locked indoors. Yeah. Because With the movie's the only place that you can be locked inside of something. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think about it? I thought this movie was <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I, at first, when I first saw it, when like, saw the trailer, I looked like a guy that's like, maybe it's going to be world. like one of those, like, <laughs> shit my pants here. <laughs> shit just running around. I looked like I'm trying to be in a real When I watched the movie, I was watching it. I was like, it was just a good put together movie. The way they the way they shot it was awesome. God, you can see yeah. the pain in my I eyes. Like, that's too. a guy I mean, that's not seen tits in a long time because his wife's a fucking whore. Dude, why didn't somebody tell me the fucking, what was my fucking hair doing? Like, what the fuck is that? You were wearing a hat that night. 
Why didn't I put it back on? I don't know. I, do I think, I think, no, I think like, Coleman told you. I think Coleman told you to take it off. <laughs> it's fucking so Coleman bad. was basically like the porn director. Do what I tell you to do. <laughs> that shit's so fucking bad, dude. That's that. Oh man, and that shirt. Like we mat. We almost matched. Yeah, we but dude, I will matching. say something about the lighting. And obviously, Coleman. I, I've said his name now like twice. It doesn't matter. You guys, yeah. he's great. Uh, the lighting does. The lighting does look like a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Like it looks like. <laughs> It looks oh like uh, Robert England's going to pop out of the back somewhere and be like, are you guys ready for the next nightmare? <laughs> the good news is I was worried about this thing on my nose. Like I told my dermatologist that I thought it was new, but that shit's fucking definitely not new. Like that's clear as day has been there for a while. So I feel better about that. So if nothing else came out of tonight, it was definitely that. Yeah. Uh, what a fun night that was until that was uh, your yeah, ex-wife tried to cut off our nuts. Yeah. I, who knows what would happen if I had been married to a stable person? <laughs> Because you know, if they had been stable, if I had been married to like my current wife, she'd be like, "I'm like, why don't you call in? It's fine, no big deal." I mean, what the shit? Well, you know, we're trying to do something really special tonight. We're working with a like a fucking award winning composer. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and then she's like, "Oh, okay, so I will." Uh, yeah, who knows? Because I we were prepared to go all night. We're gonna be here all night. Because I don't know what we we might have got new songs. We might have got like new videos. Technically, we were there till about five thirty a.m. Well, I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but still yeah i think she started calling and throwing a fit around uh midnight she had to be at work yeah she, well yeah she had to be at work at like eight but she was like she went to the gym and had to be like at six i guess she like, was probably fucking you know i don't know fucking raul i was like jay jay like you just told me not to park behind the fucking garage she's like well i didn't know no i didn't know we were going to be out that late i That's thought we were going to go see the movie and then come back yeah, that that is fair. We had some good times though doing those midnight showings. That was that was a fun time, man. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, all right, getting to some of your all's fucking wonderful <laughs> thoughts and opinions. I can't wait to see them. Joe Valentine said, "I'm finally a Patreon member, boys. Right. Join the top tier, and the content is endless. Best twenty five dollars I ever spent. Do work days go by a lot faster? Hello, I love you. Hey, hey, awesome, that, man. Bro. Yeah, we got a lot of. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you get to. Like people don't realize that. I guess. Uh, I mean, of course, you uh, you 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 current Patreon members know, but. Like, there's a fuck ton of commentaries and shit. Like, there's all sorts of crazy ass, like, I don't know how many movie reviews are on there. Like, or com- like I, there's got to be, like, 100 or more. Uh, well, I know there's over 100 commentaries now. And it's weird. Like, yeah, yeah, we, to be, and to be completely honest and, and straight up, we have, we've, we've got a lot of commentaries uh, on the backlog that we really got to do and get to. And we're going to start to work on that really hard soon to get those caught up. So I'm sorry to the people. Yeah, we can do two a day. But you yeah, just, uh, but we could do two a day. I mean, we could. Uh, yeah, and, and I, I apologize to the people who've been waiting on us for a while. But yeah, no, if you join the Patreon, there is there's literally over 100 full movie commentaries. There's uh, another 100 videos, and there's a ton of shit. We like to pride ourselves upon trying to put more fucking content on our Patreon than fucking anybody. So I get that a lot. Some people are like, fuck, I had no idea. It's like, yeah, if you actually like us, which I don't know why you do, but know. if you actually like us and you're like, fuck, I've watched everything. There's like a two years worth of fucking content alone just on the fucking Patreon. But hey, man, thank you for fucking joining. You, I'm glad bro. you're enjoying it. That's awesome to hear. Um, Rudin Tootin Tex Tootin says, got carp tunnel Maria's finger blasting this land whale from the bar. <laughs> the other day. That's some goddamn nasty Rudin Tootin Finger blasting a land whale. Hey, sometimes that's all that there is at the Applebee's past 12 a.m. Uh, should true. I use Ben Gay or Icy Hot? Can't pick up my shine jug rat. Oh, my God. Listen here, Rootin' Tootin'. First off, you got to go to the doctor in the morning, check and see if your finger ain't got herpes. What the fuck are you thinking, fucking Bernice? When you know that she's been through half the goddamn town, I know you're talking about that fat bitch that works at Dairy Queen. Come on. It's either Bernice or Bethany. But use Ben Gay and then go to the doctor in the morning. Shit. <laughs> just stick your stick your dick in some boiling water it's gonna be fine uh jimmy ron happy birthday jay Thank dude you. he didn't even care enough about your birthday to write out happy birthday he That's said okay. hbj all right uh, yeah but he's like he, <laughs> those look, at his pro, look at his profile pic that's why that's how he's saying it again you HBJ. ran off with james woods again hmm? you whore you fucking whore um, yep. I was watching the older unboxings and that Goosebumps Goosebumps themed intro from 2020 was iconic. Thank you. Yeah, I remember when we did that. Dude, I thought that was fucking great. We didn't get enough love for that. We Dude, really did. One of the one of the we had an opening planned. Um I mean, I don't know if it was 2019 or it was it was around that time, and it was it was it could have been epic, but we just didn't have the well, the money would have 
but it was like we wanted i like i thought of it me and michael worked it over but it was like it was going to be an opening of men in black where we were both going to dress up as suits and you know that men in black trailer where tommy lee jones and will smith are walking down a hallway and like they have like the men are coming you know or, or they're going to just you know defend the universe but it was going to be like a horror movie intro and we we're going to kick the door yeah. open and it was going to be like you know halloween horror month but yeah but yeah that goosebump was really good dude i remember that one that was fun. that was a I thought it was really good. I actually like found a guy who made a Goosebumps intro and like got him to let us use it, and he was really sweet about it and stuff like that. This is a perfect time for me to bring this up to you, by the way, dude. Um, I got a really fucking fun idea for this year for Halloween Horror Month, and it, we might as well could memorize it and memorize it. And what what's another word that sounds like that? I feel like that's um, good. Yeah, that's solid. Uh, thank you. Uh, on your birthday, but dude, I have the fucking. I just I was like laying around. And I had this great fucking idea. You know how we're always super fucking stressed out like in October and like, we're always just like, fuck, we got all this shit to do. And like, it doesn't ever feel like you can enjoy like Halloween anymore. Cause we're like, we're, we're trying so hard to do something cool. Like, don't get me wrong. We have fun, but like, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't ever sit, feel like you can sit back and like enjoy Halloween. More. You know what we should do mm. this fucking year, Jay. And but this is, this was supposed to be a private conversation between you and I, but I've had a couple of whiskey. We are private. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh what i want to do dude is like in july august maybe sometime during the summer mm. i want to rent a fucking airbnb like in a cool location like it doesn't have to be anything special but like something that ties into a movie whether it's like by a lake and it's like a friday the 13th thing or like in a suburban place or like a halloween mm. feel something like that or the opening of evil dead 2 the remake yes exactly something something specific and we can look together and find something but i want to rent an airbnb for like four days like me and you in an airbnb in like july we'll do like cocaine days. together for the first time when we finally get done fucking and we're all out of cum um what we'll do dude is we could spend those entire four days working on halloween horror month stuff man versus movies oh, i see what you're doing you you want a retreat you want a company retreat yeah yeah company retreat <laughs> and like <laughs> yeah, that's what it is could come but they, like they gotta oh, yeah. come at night like yeah. in the you daytime come here for sexual you. favors only and then you have to leave Right, right. So during the day, all day, you and I for those four or five days, we will film our fucking asses off. I'd be it'll down all be it'll all be October content, and yeah. we'll save it for October. And then at night, when everybody comes over, we can all hang out and we can throw a little, little bash or whatever and have a good time. But like for four days, you and I lock ourselves in a fucking room and we create the best content be we can. That. Yeah, like and then like October, a, it's just chill. Like yeah, it, it's like a like a th a think bubble. Like, yeah, that's all you do. Yeah, dude, I like that idea. That, that dude, that literally reminds me. And like, I always like, I would have loved to have been a part of that creative process because I feel like that was the best, the best experience those guys ever had. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, Hell Ramis, and um, and uh, Hell uh, Ivan Reitman got a cabin, and they <clears throat> worked out Ghostbusters. Yeah. Like they just went up there and they were they wrote and they fucking wrote and they ba they bounced ideas off each other for a few i don't know if it's a weeks or a few days or whatever and then that's what they narrowed it down to what we got in Ghostbusters 84 because the original yeah. script that uh Dan Aykroyd had given was like way too big and was way too crazy and they had to narrow this shit down and make it work and like that that, that was just them like literally going up there and bouncing ideas off of each other and like writing shit and then th you know having a, a dartboard like with ideas and he, I, that's fun i like that yeah I do. I think it'd be great. And, and, and part of the reason they made me think, you know, like, so I was like, so they're wanting to, um, well, that's a, that's a whole nother thing. But like, there's, I'm gonna have to be gone for a few days in October. Right. So like, yeah. I, I was thinking, shit, fuck, it's October. We're going to go, uh, cause we're going to go, we're going to spread, uh, case dad's ashes in Gulf shores, like in October yeah. or whatever. But it got me thinking about it. And I was like, man, Gulf, October's always like, cause February has felt shitty and like crazy stressful. So I was like, it feels kind of like October right now. But I was thinking, like, why don't we just fucking, like, do it all? Like, just you yeah. and me for, like, a few days fucking locked away and just do it all for, you know like, have crazy. a fucking blast. I don't think we you should know? do it, but I'm. it will be fun. Like, we should, like, yeah, obviously, we do the entire creative process privately, and we do that for a few days. And then the last day, we do a live stream, and we get everybody involved That's in the fucking so creative process. Like, what we're, what are we going to do for Halloween Horror yeah. Month? And we take the I best ideas, and we fucking, like, fart around for an hour and a half. Like, just spitballing ideas with the chat. I fucking love it, dude. That's a great idea. No, I mean, yeah, it's like obviously we'll have our private, like for you know, for two days or three days, and we'll lock down yeah. the significant portions of what we're gonna do. But then just the last day, we just like just go fucking ham and like open up the chat. 
if it's a, and it's a, if maybe it's on a, if it's on a Patreon stream weekend or wherever, we could just go absolutely. Yeah, we could do a Patreon. Crazy. We could do the Patreon. Yeah, that way. that's a good fucking. So idea. If you guys, do it, yeah, dude. you guys should, we, you guys should join and then fucking that way in July. Holy shit. We can start looking at it now, and just, like Katie found this place, dude, next to the halls on the river, and like it's right next to Winchester, but it's over oh, next yeah. to like the fucking creek Near and shit. Them. It was fucking perfect, dude. They had this big long um, dock that looked just like Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, it, 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 like I, I was ready to go, like I was ready to sign the fucking papers, but there's no fucking internet, there's no fucking um, Wi-Fi, there's nothing. So it's a perfect Friday the Thirteenth esque setting, so we could do some great. What if you did shit. Hot spot on your phone? I don't know if that would work. Yeah, but you can't even use your phone. So, but anyways, we'll find a place. We'll do That's that. Not, yeah, I'm down for it. Yeah, yeah I'll dude. go halvesy and we can do it. That sounds yeah, good. dude. That, that'll be fucking awesome. Jimmy Ron. Oh shit, I clicked you off. He said, Oh, I already read that. I have had cervezas. Courtney Reed, happy birthday, Jay. You witnessed <laughs> the 90s. Embrace it. I do, man. And I and I still say it. Maybe you know, the 90s, the 90s, are they better than the 80s? I don't know. I like in my older years, yes, I, they are. I, I, I have to say that they probably are. We had a lot of great you know, fun times in the eighties, but then, you know, the sexy lady just walked into our lives called the nineties and we just, you know, that was it. We left the eighties. Like, sweet. like again, what do, what did the nineties give us? The nineties gave us like the super Nintendo. They gave us the fucking, uh, the, they gave us the scream franchise, which I know that some of you love, but scream, right. They, they gave us Matchbox uh, 20. No, Xbox and all that shit came out in 2000. They gave us PlayStation 1. Matchbox came out way before 2000. Oh, yeah, Matchbox. I thought you said I thought you said Xbox. <laughs> oh, no, I said Matchbox no, 20. But, but I, yeah, dude, I, I love the 90s, dude. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, well, for me, I am a 90s kid because I was born in 84, but I don't remember the 80s. Like, obviously, I remember, like, segments of it, like uh, the real Ghostbusters and He-Man, but I don't really remember the 80s growing up in it because I was too young. The 90s yeah. is where, like, middle school high school all that shit was or it's, you know so i i you know good times i love it fuck it best dude i mean yeah, i'm a 90s guy for sure hey man i want you to know that lee the machine fucking bowers it's no longer lee the machine bowers it's lee the machine fucking bowers just Thank dropped you, a man. goddamn gargantuan bomb. holy fucking shit dude i had to look twice what the fuck are you doing wow. dude dude jay and i did this <gasps> it's so big <laughs> <laughs> that's your you know, dick, those, like president <laughs> oh my god <laughs> dude thank you so fucking much he says hey my sexy handsome fellas motherfucking happy birthday jay you may be 40 but you're still handsome my thank friend you, dude much love and mike don't worry about your you're handsome too love you bros enjoy your birthday we hey, appreciate thank that you, lee i really appreciate that man like that's way too much i really really appreciate you though holy fuck dude that's incredible insane sexy but incredible too. Um, <laughs> selling you were selling a deodorant. I know I am. Sexy, I, sexy. I'm, I'm trying to work on something after the channel ends. Like I gotta, <laughs> like I gotta practice myself. And, uh, <laughs> but, but it's yeah, also dude. true. Yeah, but yeah, like dude, yeah, 40, 40 years old, dude. I can't. I, like last night, I watched the. I literally watched the clock turn one two zero zero and like I'm forty fucking years old now. Mm. And then my wife asked me later, and she's like, "You feeling different?" I was like, "No." You look younger today, but no, no, I was like, yes, it's a haircut, and I haven't had yeah. one since the 70s. Uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I started to look like that fucking caddy from Happy Gilmore, the big beard and shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 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 but I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, um, crazy. I'm just happy I made it. Like, I, I like at this point, like all the stupid shit that I did and went through in my 30s. Like getting getting to my 40s, I feel like I'm in the like in a wild west movie. Like, you're supposed to die at 40. <laughs> like I made it. I didn't just die in my my, my 40th, but yeah. Uh good yeah. times, man. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. I also like Lee that that Jay and I are like uh we're such we're such like siblings that like when you give one of us something, you have to be like, by the way, I got you something too, little guy. <laughs> you go, I don't yeah, want it's true. We get out. jealous, we get jealous. <laughs> like we don't we won't say it on stream because we don't like like we're not trying to make anybody feel bad, but then we might say it like later on, like if we're hanging out and we're like, dude, I don't know why the fuck, like you know, they could have been like, hey. I know you. I see you too. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. But just, no, no, it's all that's all fun and games. But yeah, dude, thank you so much. Like, what a generous fucking guy. Thank you, dude. Yeah, dude, Lee, you're you're great to us on an average day of the week. Uh, super sweet of you, man. Thank you so fucking much, dude. Um, uh, love you, man. Uh, Bradley Champagne, who was very close to sounding like Bradley Schindelbauer. That's how oh, I went to school. No, yeah, uh, no, that's a real guy. <laughs> Uh, it's a real person. Shit. Yeah. Um, Bradley Cooper. Uh, happy birthday, Jay, you sexy bitch. Thank you. Can Loomis tell you happy 
birthday while Dr. Chow sings. Love oh you my guys. god, that sounds like a fucking uh, that shit. sounds like a great uh New York Broadway play. Uh, I've got to go drain my wiener though. Mike, you can practice that. I'll I got to go for you. No, wait, let me sing for you before you fucking oh, go. Shit. All right? Let okay. me sing fucking you're my friend. <clears throat> It's okay, I'm not playing game. Loomis. Like I'm just being me, so Mike, go ahead. You can play. No, you fucking, you're Loomis. No, he wants, me to, no, he wants me to Stop. be Loomis telling me happy birthday, but go Stop. ahead. Stop, it's your birthday, and I've had too much to drink. Are you ready? Birthday. It's not even an hour in. Birthday. <laughs> oh, That's how shit. I slept with your sister. Uh oh. You were good with Ooh. it. You even you watched. Her? That's nasty. <laughs> you watched. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a fucking frog, dude. I would actually, I would never do that in real life. I, but as Dr. Charles would, because he would do anything. And happy birthday to you. Have a Boilermaker and screw me. If you wear a wig, I'll do it and turn it off. I'll say at the end after I came, because I'll pretend I didn't want it, but I did. Because is that of your business? Is there, why is there a camera on? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You to got you. the voice, and I don't care, so fuck you. To you. Uh, that's it. I mean, it's so weird. It's like the, it's like <laughs> breaking apart the fucking fourth wall and not even the fourth wall going into the fifth dimension and asking me to be Loomis. Happy birthday to myself. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> I see that you had a haircut. That's great. You look like G.I. Jane Gay. <laughs> good, good for you. That's Roast great. yourself, bitch. Now, now get out of you know what? You look like a goddamn custodian at an elementary school. I'll be looking for you on the court docket. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, it's good. Cool. Shit. I, go I gotta go. I'll be really quick. All right, be Jake, is P Jake is first PP all what? night. Okay, I said Jake is first. God damn it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, titty farts. Mr. Mr. Big Balls, who definitely has been arrested out of school before, says none of you little boys in this chat room best not be trying to plumb my sister wife, especially you, Mike and Dr. Loomis. Listen, um, you lost me at plumb, but you really lost me at sister. And then at wife, I was honestly just getting my passport stamped to leave the country. Uh, I do know people who have slept with other people's wives in the military and um, or in general. And it's not a good business to go into. I will say that Mr. Big Balls, it does not make you a better man to sleep with another man's wife. Uh, that is karma. And as Taylor Swift says, it will come back on you and you'll have to sleep with Travis Kelsey. We all know that uh, that's written in the Bible. Michael Parton says, I'll wait for, I'll wait for Jay. I feel like a lot of these are going to be, I should wait for Jay to come back for him. So <laughs> um, I will just do that. I'm just going to do, Hey, there's a dog here. Hi, dog. Don't you dare look. Uh, oh, you did. You licked the inside of my fucking mouth. Why are you such a dirty? Don't you fucking talk back to me. What did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? Don't you dare try to kiss me. I'm a married man. I'm married to your mother. This is a step bro thing. It's like a porn hub thing right now. You you disgust me. Don't you dare. No, we are friends. Actually, I'm your dad. This is going to do weird. <laughs> this is going to do fucking weird. Don't you fucking honk your nose at me with your snorting hey do you want to go outside it's like magic i'm a magician basically i'm getting ready to go in just a second when jay gets back uh anyways is anyone still here that was fucking weird there was a dog licking me and well that's actually pretty much par for the course you know what i mean pretty par for the course. How how are you guys doing tonight? How is everyone today? I'm I'm saving the super chats for Jay because as apropos as it should be there for his birthday, and you know I gotta say, I gotta say that there's 311 people in here right now, and 311 is a good band. I don't know if you guys know this, but they have multiple songs, including Down, which is you know Have you ever made out in a dark hallway? And then there's Amber ember i don't remember the, how that fucking song goes and then there's the animal song was really good i forget them all but uh don't tell jay this by the way so we're going out tomorrow night for jay's birthday right and there's this place in town that i've been wanting to go called the burl 
Uh, it's called the Burl. It's in Lexington, Kentucky. And like, I love going to shows and little punk rock shows and shit like that. And it's a venue, but like every fucking person they have come to the Burl is like some bullshit, like fucking folk. Like my sister left my cousin while he was fucking in a truck. And like, I'm like, I want to see that venue. I want a good band to play there. Right. I fucking look it up the other day. And I've been waiting for like three years for a good fucking band to come here. To be fair, there was a couple, but I they were sold out. But like, we don't get a lot of great music acts here in Kentucky. Anyways, of course, I look it up and there's a band called The Loaded Nuns playing there tomorrow night when we're supposed to be celebrating Jay's birthday. And they're like the greatest local punk band I've ever heard in my fucking life. They're fucking amazing. Like, they're fucking awesome. They're a legit great punk band from Lexington, Kentucky. And they're playing at the place I've wanted to go see. And it's on Jay's goddamn birthday. And you guys know Jay does not want to go to a fucking punk show. So if it turns out, I'm just going to gag him with chloroform and make him go. But anyways, yeah, so we're definitely not going to do that. Uh, hey, man. Oh, oh, yeah, check this out. Look. What mm. happened? Dude, that's actually fucking sick. I know. Like, I just want to sit with my face in his lap. Look at the, look at the details on it. That's really cool. Like, that's yeah. where'd she get that from? It was it was a diamond select. It's like, uh, I, I, oh, I, that, yeah. that makes sense. Those people fucking rock, dude. Like they are they the ones who put out the Marvel Secrets? Yeah, they, they put, no, the Marvel Selects. Yeah, yeah, Marvel Selects are the fucking best toys. I love them. Like, I mean, Marvel affordable. Legends have, have like more variety, but they're expensive as fuck. I mean, I, I mean, Marvel Selects aren't like exactly like cheap, but I feel like Marvel Selects are just like bigger is better. Uh. And that's 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 what most women say. Not my wife. She doesn't like them bigger. No, trust me, she doesn't. Um, that's what she says, but yeah, no. exactly. And she never told a lie. She's like Abe Lincoln. Um, but anyways, I'll be right back. Hey, uh, a lot of the super chats are are involving your birthday, so I didn't get too many. Just so you know, we are at Mister. Uh, I think I did that. One. We are at uh, Michael Parton, I believe, at eight oh five p.m. Let me make sure. Actually, I think I might have fucked that up. No, 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 no. Okay, we're at Mr. Big Balls at 8.05 p.m. Eastern. Oh, I like Big Balls. What? Why did I say Eastern like you didn't know? Uh, 8.05. And, uh, 8.05 uh, p.m. Okay, I got it. Mr. Big Balls. Mr. Big Balls! Um, okay, thank you, dude. Uh, none of you little boys in this chat room best not be trying to plumb my sister's <laughs> Especially you, Mike and Dr. Lemons. Nobody wants to plumb your, your goddamn sister. Okay, I promise you. The only one that wants the plumber is the goddamn IRS for tax evasion. I promise you, nobody wants to touch it. Okay, you could smell that tuna from a mile away. You'd be like, mm, I must be near the beach. No, no, no. You're just near his sister's house. Thank you, Mr. Big Boss. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Um, Michael Parton says, happy birthday, Jay. Hope there's room for dessert because you can have me later. Absolutely, there's room for dessert. There's always room for that, for sure. Thank you, man. Appreciate you being here. Um... Aaron, a Aaron Roman says, "Happy 40th birthday, Jay! You're still looking good. Uh, nice haircut. Thank you, man. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I literally like. So my TV died this morning. I was pissed, and then I was like, I gotta go get a new TV, which is always a fucking hassle. I didn't want to have to deal with this today, and I, I didn't want to drive fucking uh, 15, 20 miles to Lexington to go to Best Buy. So I was like, I'm gonna go to Walmart." But before we go, we'll drive by because, you know, my shit, like my hair was getting to a point where like I had to get it cut. I look like fucking drunk Nick Nolte or I was going to start a garage band if I didn't get it cut. So I was like, we're going to stop at the barbershop and see what's going on uh, if he's not busy. And he wasn't, uh, fortunately, but he raised his fucking prices. And I know I'm a cheapskate, whatever, but but it was $19, dude. And I only had $20. He doesn't take cards. So I had $20. I only had $20 cash because usually it's like. Uh, when I first started going there, it was like $13 for a haircut and I would give him a 20 and he would keep the tip. Cause I mean, I, I was trying to be nice and I'm like, here you go. So I felt like a fucking cheap bastard when it was $19. All I had was a 20. I was like, Oh yeah. He's like, you want change? I'm like, no man, you keep the fucking dollar. I felt so bad. I almost circled back around and gave him uh, $5, but I didn't. I was like, I'll, I'll get him on the next one, but thank you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, system monitor, thank you, dude. Says uh, I've started work on Batman for Forever Fanatic. That'll be badass. Uh, aiming to drop it for the 30th anniversary next year. Would you guys be interested? God damn you, Jay. Uh, yeah, dude. Like I, like I think, like it's so weird with Batman Forever. Uh, Joel Schumacher with that film when it came out, I I didn't like it when I was a kid, but I've grown to respect it more and more as I've watched it. 
uh, as an adult. Um, and I feel like when he, when Joel Schumacher was talking about studio interference and he, he said that he never really got the true vision that he wanted. Uh, I, I kind of feel that that's true. Um, because Schumacher is responsible for things like Lost Boys and Phone Booth and things like that. And there's no way I like obviously Batman Forever and Batman and Robin specifically were a marketing tool to sell toys. But I feel like uh, there's a Joel Schumacher cut that was never released. Uh, I know that people have been demanding over the years, uh, most recently because of the Zack Snyder released the Snyder cut. Uh, they think that there's a, like an actual true vision of, of Schumacher, which I'm, I'm sure there is. Um, so yeah, I would love to see, we would, I would totally be happy to, uh, review that or, or, um, do a, a live reaction with Mike over your uh, edit, because I think those are fascinating. And I, I really think that Batman forever, man, it had the, it like, it had a, uh, like a potential to be a really cool blend with the Burton esque type of aesthetic that, uh, Tim Burton obviously established with the unique, uh, psychological thriller that Schumacher could have brought it, and unfortunately, that didn't work out. So, yeah, I'd be interested for sure. Thank you, Ben. Uh, holy shit, Christopher McIntyre, thank you, dude. Says, Happy birthday, Jay. Get some IMAX tickets and some beverages on me. Go have a party seeing the new Ghostbusters movies on me. Thank you both. Love me some wham. Hey, dude, so fucking sweet. Thank you, dude. Holy shit, a fucking Titanic type of donation. And I will definitely use that to go see. I've never seen a movie in IMAX. Um, uh, unfortunately, I, I think that the nearest, uh, IMAX, uh, theater for me is, is it, I, I don't know if it's a two hour drive. I don't know, but I've never seen one. So maybe I, I think that would be a good time to go see it because it's a new Ghostbusters movie to go see it in IMAX. I've never seen an IMAX movie before. And why not the first IMAX movie I see be a fucking Ghostbusters movie? Me thinks that's a good idea. So yeah, Chris, I will definitely do that. I will not get drunk before I see it. Obviously, I'm going to have some beverages. Uh, you got to have some beverages, okay? It's not a big deal. Just don't get hammered. And then go see the new Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Really sweet. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Michael also says, Ultraman and Kamen Rider also came before Super Sentai. Yeah, I know that Ultraman did. Um, and Kamen Rider. Didn't they do a, like, a, was it, what the fuck was in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original series, they did a Rider um, crossover event or something, and then he was the the Rider. I and I can't, I can't remember who it was. He was supposed to have his own like series at some point, and then I guess it it, it didn't work out, or it, it it did one season and nobody cared about it because fucking Beetleborgs was there. I mean, holy shit, <laughs> Beetleborgs suck. I fucking hated Beetleborgs, dude. I tried, and like, it was in my age range, and I fucking hated it. I thought Beetleborgs were trash. Um, I like VR Troopers, okay. But yeah, I remember, yeah, Ultraman and Kamen Rider. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Joe Valentine, thank you, dude. Says, happy 40th, uh, Jay. Illumis should give you a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Jay. You seem to be having a good day. Don't let your troubles get you down and out just find a dick to suck tonight and shout i will <laughs> yeah that's that's what loomis would say to jay <laughs> i swear to god <laughs> you guys are breaking this shit like in, it's like going into fifth dimensions uh, <laughs> uh i just read joe valentine uh at 8 20 so i'm past joe valentine oh god damn thank you fucking chris mcintyre holy yeah, shit dude. man yeah he wants me and i told him i was like he wants me to go see ghostbusters and imax I, I think that Louisville is like two hours away. I've never seen a movie in IMAX, but maybe it'd be worth the tr uh, trip to go see Ghostbusters in. Yeah, dude, I'll go with you if you want to go. We'll do that. Hey, what's up, Markets? Markets are in here, you sexy hey! son of a bitches. The need to, to they, they, they listen, they impress and they undress. We know that's their slogan, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, look, one bite, everybody knows the rule. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys get it. Like, oh, shit. The rule. Hang on, I got to grab something real quick. I forgot. I've been watching a lot of those uh, one bite pizza reviews. Dude, Dave Portnoy, I got to be honest with you. He, like, he is a marketing fucking genius. Like, in the way that he did that uh, one pizza review thing. Holy fuck, dude. And it's so simple of just like being yourself, having the Bostontonian accent or the Massachusetts accent. I guess that's what he's got coming out of the pizza storefront and then just like, doing his quick review of the, of the movie or of the, of the pizza. That's so fucking genius, dude. I wish that Mike and I had come up with that quick of a, 
like that idea like coming out if we had like done that like we go to a movie theater and we like come out and they shoot it and it's like like it's like three to five minutes you know what i mean like dave portnoy does on the pizza but i'm i'm, I'm talking about like early on in youtube like that would have been like fucking huge yeah like before youtube shorts and shit like that like being yeah like, like yeah like like yeah i was just saying dave portnoy is like a fucking marketing genius like he really oh, yeah. fucking is you can't you can't tonight. so hey this is what i got you for your birthday by the way i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it to you tonight instead of tomorrow since okay. it's actually your birthday tonight but i got this hoodie ordered for you. <laughs> dude that's badass exactly. i already saw what it was it says uh oh shit oh yeah dude it says my friend or your friend oh shit fuck your friend almost died at the kumite you're next <laughs> continue or quit dude that is fucking crazy good that's like a mix of like badass scene of blood sport and a nintendo game where you got beat and i love it yeah I knew you know, he's like, like when i when you held it up i already knew what it was as soon as i saw the image and i saw it like and like i hear it in my head's like you are next <laughs> yeah I knew you fucking dude, that's that, fucking dude. sweet dude that's sexy thank you man yeah you're welcome dude they got some fucking cool shit on there man people are fucking they come up with the smart where'd you get shit. that from timu uh no <laughs> i got it's actually like it's like paper thin it's gonna it's gonna disintegrate oh, when you I put it on <laughs> no it's like, from I mean, red red bubble or some shit oh, no, dude, that, that, that looks sexy as fuck dude yeah dude. like was, imagine I, getting that like dude that's the kind of like uh like uh hoodie you want to get uh jean-claude to sign dude that would be fucking dope i wish dude i wish he was coming to, like Scarefest or something dude i i would, I, I would pay i swear to god i swear i told my wife i'd pay 500 dollars for just yeah. a fucking picture with him. I, I yeah. would, I, I, and I always, like, I know that we've had criticism and shit before, and it's whatever. I mean, whatever makes you happy if you want to spend some cash to get a picture with your favorite celebrity or, or, or an autograph. But, dude, I've always been like, I'm not going to do that. But for someone like Jean-Claude Van Damme or Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger, I would throw 500 down. Easy, I, easy I fucking would, easy. I would 100%. Dude, it's funny as fuck, too. I was I was reading that book. I'd be uh, telling, too. I'd be, also, I'd be like, listen, Jean-Claude, I spent more on you with just a picture of you with me than I did on a, on a Vizio 4K TV. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> I would too. Like, and I don't do that shit either. Like, I don't pay for celebrity autographs and shit. But like, I when it comes to Sean Claude, I fucking would. Uh, I wish to God he was coming to Scarefest. So I did email them, by the way. So we'll find out. We will find out hopefully in the next week if we're going to be at Scarefest or not. Because I did send out an email. Uh, oh, by so the way, I, speaking of Scarefest, dude, April's been like goddamn Inspector Gadget on. She's been following the fucking Facebook shit. I don't know, like. Apparently, uh, there's rumors going around that because uh, in the screencast, I don't remember who's who's showing. I mean, Matthew Lillard's confirmed. Lillard and Skeet are going to be there. Yeah, yeah, and they were like, because they're going to be there, they think that because they're doing a tour thing, that Neff Campbell and uh, Rose McGowan are going to oh, be there. Fuck, do you imagine that group photo? Well, was, that's going to be five hundred dollars. Yeah, that'd be expensive as fuck. Um, would you do I, it though? That's the question. Would you do it if you got to take a picture with Jamie Kennedy, the whole cast? Yeah. Not for that price, I probably wouldn't. Honestly, like, uh, it's it's a little bit different. Like, I probably wouldn't. Kate got one with David Arquette. Kate and April both got one. With I know David that was. was uh, I, I I know. I don't. It wasn't that David Arquette wasn't that bad though. I think no, no, price. it was reasonable for as far as those prices but, go, but or whatever. For, but apparently, um, because Lillard and Ulrich and I think um, uh, oh the guy that the the guy that did the scream voice, Joe Jackson. Uh, Roger Jackson, too. yeah. <laughs> Joe Jackson was a great football player too. Uh, yeah, uh, Roger Jackson's going to be there because he had to. Uh, he was going to be there last year. And he had to reschedule because he got sick or something. But they said that because they're doing a touring thing with Neff Campbell, <laughs> that they're all going to be there. like Jamie Kennedy, <laughs> all of them, which would be insane. That would be the biggest scare fest as far as like celebrities <laughs> yeah. go in one spot. I think they've uh, ever had. Hopefully, we'll be there. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know what's going to happen with that, but I'll know. I'll, I will make an announcement soon as to whether or not Jay and I are going to be there. We'll see what they say. Uh, DJ Graham, what the fuck? I didn't get a notification either, but whatever. I'm here now. Let's party. And we no. will. Ain't no pro time, DJ. You know Fucking you're ready. YouTube and their bullshit. Gary B, haha. I would have done the same thing, Mike and Jay, at the bar. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure which story, but I think he's talking about the, the real thing. Oh, yeah. Well, we used to go to the one where they would give you a wristband and they would only give you three yeah. drinks total. And like, they would like check your wristband. And that shit was annoying. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to have more than three drinks. It's a two hour fucking movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, well, and, and, and like it turned out is because they were getting their licensing from a, a company bought them from London and they had to go through like this, uh, like um, probationary period where they could only serve three drinks at a time. And, yeah. and the funny thing was, is like, the guy that I remember when that shit happened, he put like this. I was like, so you're marking me like the scarlet letter. I'm a drunk. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> like he put this like wristband on like I was going into a fucking club and he'd be like, listen, man, like 
like he was he was selling this idea. The, the bartender was. He's like, I saw this guy come in and he did like two shots of whiskey and then he got a beer. That's what you can do. <laughs> like he used all he used all three of his wishes up, but he got a great deal at <laughs> one time. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm like, oh, I was like, I don't do I don't do fucking whiskey though. I don't do fucking like liquor. So uh, that kind of sucks. It's like I'm gonna pay overpriced beer, like nine dollars or no, it's not. It's like seven dollars. It's still expensive. Seven dollars yeah. a fucking pop on a, on on a tab, not a tab. Uh, what's it called? A uh, uh, Ultra, not out of the bottle, but a draft draft beer. It's like seven yeah. bucks, and I'm like, well, and, hey, that's bullshit. And then on top of that, you do not want to get, do not order a mixed drink from a movie theater because they have they're so scared of like the teenagers that are going to be making them. They put them on like a uh this 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 thing that like makes the <coughs> drinks for them, and it pours like this much fucking liquor yeah. in the drink. On its own, like it pre-mixes it for you. So like it's it's not worth the money. And you're probably paying like eleven. Well, before bucks we get sued, they're shit. 21. They have to be 21 to serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh yeah, that's true. That, that, that is true. Uh Gary B says, haha, I would have done this. Oh, yeah, I just can... fucking read that. Yeah. I have had alcohol. I I mean apple juice tonight. Crimson Black says, Happy birthday, Jay. You're like a fine wine. The older you get, the sexier you are. Mike is one morose looking motherfucker, too. Meow or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. LMAO. Thank you, Crimson. It's the depression. It keeps it brings out my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of depression, I have great news for fucking everyone. In the chat. And thank, let's, thank let's, you. Let's Crimson. bring this party down now. No, 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 no. That's actually good news. Speaking of depression, do you guys know that we are less than three weeks away from the fucking clocks rolling back to fucking summer? That's bullshit. Five. It's fucking that's... bullshit. I fucking hate it. I don't like. I need it. it. I, no. I, you... Like, isn't there a state in the union that literally passed a state law that they weren't going to recognize the fucking time anymore? Well, they I swear to they, God, it's happened. Daylight savings time's fucking ridiculous. They shouldn't do it. But like, this is the good one though. This is the one where the sun's up longer and it feels like you feel like a human being again. What we're currently in is fucking winter doldrum ass goddamn daylight saving times, and it sucks shit. But it's about to change. So anybody who has seasonal depression, like I do. Better times are less than three weeks of fucking way. It's gonna be awesome. Look yeah, I'm waiting that. on what's what's his name from uh, Thirty Days of Night, the the lead guy, Josh Hartnett. I'm waiting on Josh Hartnett to show up at my door and be like, the vampires are coming. <laughs> and I was it's like, good. dude, it's, it's eight in the morning. It's like, dude, you not see the sun slow out? <laughs> or Al Pacino from Insomnia. Frankenstein Studio. Happy early birthday, Jay. Here's two dollars. Love you guys. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, thank you, dude. Oh, by the way, uh, someone uh, commented earlier and they uh, graciously uh, super chatted. Uh, they had mentioned, and I thought it was, uh, it's brilliant. I, I, I'm down for it, that they're going to be soon re-editing for the 30th anniversary of Batman forever. And asked if we were interested in watching it. I'm fucking down for that. Yeah, dude. I the, the Schumacher like, cut, the Schumacher cut. Well, yeah, yeah. The, the Schumacher cut. Yeah. I would, because I like that. What I'm saying is like, and I told them earlier, like it was so weird when I was younger and I'm sure you were the same way when you're younger, like you kind of like thought it was dog shit, but as you, when you get older, you appreciate it more for like the little tiny nuances that they did yeah. in it. But it felt like, and I, and, and I totally believe when Schumacher says that studio interference was uh, abnormally high and it was a toy commercial, that's what they wanted. But yeah. like it, the potential for sh uh, forever was so there. You had the Tim Burton designs and the aesthetic, and then you had the psychological horror thriller element that Schumacher could bring. You cannot tell me that a guy as talented as Schumacher, Lost Boys, fucking Phone Booth, would just like, like uh, yeah, I can't make a Batman movie. Where it's, it's literally yeah. about a guy that's suffering psychological trauma that goes out and fights crime at night. Yeah, I, I definitely think the Schumacher cut of Batman Forever will be way better. It's a hard movie to watch, dude. It really is. Like, you go back and you watch it, and you, you feel all this nostalgia for, like, the McDonald's cups and, like, all the cool yeah. shit that they did. And it was such a cool time to be alive. But, like, as a movie. The soundtrack was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold me, kiss me, thrill me, or whatever the fuck. And, like, yeah. you're sort of stuck at your job, but you could blow his head yeah. off. Like, it's a great soundtrack. Time. Uh, for sure. Uh, Jack plays 95. Thanks, man. Says, Happy birthday, Jay. You both Thank make you. my night. Every stream you do, I'm always laughing. Can't wait for more content this year. Hey, man, it's always going to be coming for show in your mouth, and we can't wait to give it to you. <laughs> no, dude, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. That's always really nice to hear. We're glad that us old farts can still bring you guys some joy and happiness, uh, okay. in, in, in 2024 without us having to resort to, like, I don't know. Jumping off buildings and at the same time shoving a Roman candle in our ass for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 
You know, it's, the, it's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to the people in this room right now, super chatting or not. Uh, it's crazy uh, all the shit we've been through on this channel. And like when COVID happened and everything was wild, like we started doing live streams. And mm -hmm. it's like, oh my God, like this is actually working better for us. And it, it almost felt bad because it's like so many people are going through so much shit, but like the channel is even doing better. These live streams are so fucking fun. And it's because of good people like you. Thank you, Jack. Joe, man. Thank you, man. Uh, Gary B, that the I said got. Damn, package on Patreon is the best 10 bucks I spend a month. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, dude, uh, you care, Gary, if we use your profile pic and what you just said there as a tagline to sell the Patreon package? Because I feel like that's a good that's a good endorsement right there. I like that endorsement, and I like your picture with what you're doing there. Listen to me, whores. I just put in the chat the link to our Patreon, and here's the thing. You can try that $10 a month Patreon tier for oh. fucking free. For, oh, uh, for like a week. You can try yeah. that shit. You can listen to all those comments. What are we crazy? Are we giving it away? <laughs> <laughs> and the best part of it is every single month for the top tier, we do a Patreon um live stream tier. And it's like there's over like 50 extra live streams and shit on there too. So you can check out. So yeah, and you guys can check that out for free. So thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Well, yeah, that, it's kind of like uh what we do. Like, I mean, don't get us wrong. We put every uh bit of effort in uh, into giving you guys great content on YouTube uh, as much as we can, but it's kind of like we have a lot more freedom to just kind of chill out and do what we like to do on, on the Patreon side. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of like you go to school and, and you hang out with your friends and it's great and it's good times. And then like on Patreon, it's kind of like uh, in that, that 70s show, we're all in the circle and we're all smoking weed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's, those that's those live streams they're different than our regular live streams so we'll mm -hmm. hang out for like an hour we'll just talk shit and then the second hour we'll do a beer chug with anybody who wants to chug a beer with us and then the third hour we play music and shit just like it just gets fucking wild and weird yeah. and like i said there's over 50 of those sitting there waiting on waiting uh just to be plucked by your eyes Luis ruddy says sup guys finally saw iron claw shit broke me dude yeah dude uh i like uh i didn't even know that it, it had been released that you could buy um my it's brother like 20 bucks uh, but well i bought it yeah because my well i was i was always planning on buying it. it's it's one of the best um wrestling movies i've ever seen next to uh the wrestler and and then um heels on stars which yeah. by the way what a fucking travesty that tv show suffered because it, yeah. it, it, it didn't get renewed for a third season but yeah dude that movie um absolutely it's it, it, like it's so well done it's a mix of I feel like it's the wrestler glamored up. The mm -hmm. It's the wrestler glamored up. It's not as depressing. It's depressing. Don't get me wrong. It's it's extremely depressing. But I feel like the wrestler is super depressing because at the end of the wrestler, I feel like you think he, I think everybody thinks he died. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he's doing the Ram Jam, and I think that everyone is like, "That's it." Like they said, you can't do that anymore. Your heart's gonna stop. That's well, it. Well, Iron Claw is weird, dude, because like you think. And I, I, I'm, I'm so excited to show it to my wife because, like, she loves sad movies and shit like that too. So I, I can't wait to show it to her. Um, but like, I'm looking forward to watching that with her because um, I went and watched it. Uh, we went and watched it on Christmas Day, and it was really cool um, uh, with some family members and watched it or whatever. And that was a really cool experience. But like, it's one of those movies where like you, you know, it's going to be sad. So like, you're waiting for it. And like the mm -hmm. shit that throughout the movie is really, really sad. But that one line, and you guys, I won't say it, I won't spoil it. But there's one line right at the end of the movie when mm. he's when zach oh, yeah, that was crying really, that was rough that was fucking rough. i was holding tough because i was like around family and stuff i was like i ain't gonna cry for my family but then like that one line dude i was like oh <laughs> fucking it got me so well, bad and, and again I, I don't think anybody needed any more comp uh, confirmation but zach efron is is, an, is a great actor dude he's yeah. extremely great and At i don't think like and, and i like those kind of guys it's like i didn't just rely on my my pretty boy looks and my extremely body like extremely uh great body that i want to lick his abs but yeah. he didn't rely on that like he was like no. i'm actually a good actor and he is he's actually a really good actor you can officially add zach efron to the likes of people like matthew mcconaughey who seemed like they were just teenage heartthrobs Rob, boys, robert yeah. pattinson's another one yeah. uh who were teenage heartthrobs who didn't actually Rob have Lowe. acting experience uh sure yeah uh, you can add Zach Efron to that pantheon, like he overcame that. And with Iron Claw, motherfucker should have gotten Dude, an Oscar. It's I just not thought of it. it. Zach Efron as Cyclops, I like it. I'm into that. Oh, fuck, that's perfect. I, I, I know yes. he's a good looking Shit. fucking dude, and he's got the potential to be the asshole. Look at neighbors, yep. 
And he's got the, but he's also got the sensitivity side to him to be like, I'm not really mad at you and I'm not being a bitch on purpose. I'm just jealous of and and threatened by Wolverine. I will, I don't want anyone else. Like, you fucking nailed it. Like, that's what I want. That's perfect. Zach Efron is Cyclops. That's fucking perfect. I love it. Aaron Roman, thanks, buddy. Said, hey, Michael J. First of all, how are you guys doing? We should get drunk watching Godzilla versus Kong, the new empire, and watching Deadpool. I would love it. I would love it. The problem is YouTube would literally uh, spank us with a fucking paddle and then put a dildo <laughs> in our butt. If we, if we, I would love, I would love to stream like Mike and I both have talked, like how cool would it be to stream a full fucking movie like Godzilla X Kong? Yeah. You know, like after it comes out of theater on YouTube or even uh, what was that, that, that Godzilla movie that just came out uh, that they made for like, you know, uh, $15,000. Minus one. That was minus awesome. one. And it's Dude, gonna you're going to cream your I know, and I want, between when you see I, that. I would love to be able to watch that with you guys, like, and just have it yeah. up on the screen and like react. But unfortunately we can't do that. We could do a commentary for it, which is not the, I know it's not the same thing, but it's the best. Yeah. I mean, it's the most we can get. Well, Godzilla versus Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. I thought the trailer looked like shit. I thought it looked like a fucking I'll go boring ass. I'll watch it just to get Transformers I mean, movie. Whatever. Like, I will need to get drunk to get through that fucking thing. But, but Deadpool, Deadpool Wolverine, that's yeah. going to be amazing. Uh, JK, happy birthday. You know what, JK? I appreciate you, but I don't believe your profile pic when you say that. <laughs> you look like you're like throwing away at like a Swisher Suite and be like, yeah. all right, happy birthday. Get out of my face. Michael's like, you want a little paint? Like, like paint no, dude, Michael in that picture looks like he's doing, like he's DJing at a karaoke bar and he's like flicking away his Swisher Suite. He's like, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's true tiffany hoffman thank you so much happy birthday jay how many birthday spankings do you get well i think it's 40 but i haven't got it yet i'm waiting oh. for tomorrow so everyone can line up and do it i i will see you tomorrow night uh out and about town and i will i will either give you 40 spanks or 40 thrusts it depends on what kind of mood you're in mm. 40 licks of the butthole i like either one <laughs> Camelot Films, happy birthday, Jay. The evil is gone from the evil is gone from here. Yeah, yeah, dude. Thank you, dude. Camelot <laughs> Films. By the way, uh, I I know that I mean, this wasn't a question, but I um I played the uh, Final Fantasy Seven, dude. Like I I haven't done this in years, dude. I played the demo for Final Fantasy Seven uh, Rebirth that's coming out next week on the 29th. I'm literally looking at my phone for the countdown. I've been doing this all day, like just to see if it's real. Uh, and it's like six days because it releases at midnight on Wednesday, um, the 25th. It's it's certainly the or it's the 28th. It's, it's certainly the 29th. But I, I played the demo and uh, like it, we got to the point where Yuffie popped up and you had to rescue her from a big giant fish that was attacking her in the village of Junon. Don't fucking judge me about if you don't know what's going on. Ah, yes, the old village of Junon. The old village of Junon. There. Oh, I hear they sell great necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I beat the fucking big fat fish and then I'm like, I'm waiting on the next big story point and it's like, thank you for playing the demo and then you hear that music boom, 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 boom. It's like, and then it's like, enjoy the full experience on February 29th oh, I want to punch my fucking screen so hard that the <laughs> when, does that, could... when does that come out? So it comes out February 29th is that like a full what? game? Like you have to pay like yeah, 70 bucks So the full game comes out the 29th at midnight How much does it cost? Like it's seventy bucks. Fuck. Well, no, that's you just no, play a game. No, 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 no. That seventy dollars is like the the standard right. version. And like, didn't you just buy a fan of Final Fantasy game? Like, isn't that fresh? Yeah, I bought a Final Fantasy seven game that gave me more of a backstory of the game that I didn't know <laughs> no, about. No, no, I'm not saying you should have bought. What I'm saying is no. Like, so what's the timeline of Final Fantasy? Like they put out a seventy dollars oh, no, 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 game. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. No, that that okay. They. they Final Fantasy started in 1987 or 88. And every Final Fantasy game except for um uh 10 uh except for 10 and 13 didn't have any sequels. So they're standalone games. Mm-hmm. They don't have anything to do with each other. They're just fantasy right. games. But when was the last Final Fantasy game? The one you're playing right now. When did that come out? I I played I beat 16. And that came out uh, uh, last year. So it came out last year, and there's a whole and and there's and a now, whole no 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 Final Fantasy out. Final Fantasy Seven came out. That was my very first uh, JRPG or Japanese role playing game I ever played. That was that came out in 1997. And right, did, right. And they remade it, and that came out in 2020. And now the sequel to that is coming out now. So okay, so okay, so it came out in 2020, and now a sequel's coming out in 20. So that's not so bad. I, I thought you just bought a fresh Final Fantasy no, no, no. game, and now they're right. asking you to buy a brand so, new one. So like Final Fantasy VII back in the day when it came out in 1997 on PlayStation One was four discs. 
I remember. That's how long it, like, it was a big, fat, thick disc. So what, yeah. they, what they did was uh, when they were going to remake Final Fantasy VII, they were like, we can't do one complete game because it would just be – we would have to cut things. So what, they're going to do it in three parts. So Final Fantasy VII Remake came out in 2020. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is now. And then Final Fantasy VII, whatever the last title will be, will probably be out in uh, 2026 or so. Are they are they just this like I know that you're playing on like a new age console, so like obviously the graphics, great graphics, the <laughs> graphics and shit are better. Like, but like, is it is it as is it as fun as it as you yeah, like because because you already played it once. No, no, no. But but that's what they were smart about. They changed the story. Oh, see what they did was there's some story beats that are, are the same, but they knew that people that had loved the game in 1997 was going to be coming back. And they didn't want to just do a one for one remake. Cause then, you know, yeah, obviously that would be cool. Like to update the graphics and to show everything like in, in, in today's world's technology. But what they did was they keep certain, certain things uh, similar, but then they changed so much about it. And like, even at the end of the game of, uh, of FF seven remake, it's like the unknown journey will continue. Cause there's a, there's a moment that happens in that game. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Like they, oh. they Avenger, they Avengers in game this shit. Okay. That's so fucking smart, dude. So, so you're su- like, so like you're super like playing well, the next I'm, I'm game. Fuck, so when the next game comes out, you're going to be just as pumped playing that as you would have been if it was just a brand new game. Yeah, because there's going to be moments in that game that I'm going to recognize from my experience when I first played the original game in 97. But then there are going to be differences. I'm going to be like, oh. I, didn't, I didn't know what's coming. So is it actually even better because you get a hint of nostalgia, but also some new yeah. shit? It's yeah. actually better. Yeah, that's, that's what cool. I'm saying. I've never, I've never played a remade game, so that's interesting that they would do that. Well, I mean, they were, they were like, they knew this game was the most successful game that Square Enix had ever put out in their life. Like, yeah. they had never had a game. Halo Three should do that. Well, Halo Three. Well, the, I mean, Halo itself should just fucking. I, well, they should just restart everything. Dude, I was talking about. I was talking to somebody about this the other night at volleyball. <laughs> like Halo Three was fucking successful because of the goddamn ranking system. Because there was a challenge, and you had to get yourself to fifty, or you wouldn't be able to fucking live with yourself. Well, it started in Halo Two, right? But when they when they left the ranking system, everything went downhill. Why don't they realize because that? Because they just had pussy lips fucking... like on fucking screaming at them that it was too hard. Fuck that. That's that. No, no, no I remember we were playing Halo because what happened was Halo Three. They had the ranking system, and you had to be fucking good to get your fifty. Like you had to be good to get there. And then like the what best. They, what they did was that, that there was too. There were so many people bitching and crying and screaming about it that they it, remember they introduced Social Slayer that you could get that. your fucking uh you could get your rank. Like you get a bullshit rank just for like depleting the match. It was perfect. Like if you just want to fuck around and play, go to Social Slayer. But if you want to fucking join the big dogs and try to get your rank up, join the ranking fucking system. I, I got where to go. The highest I got on Lone Wolves was like forty two. I got a forty nine. No big deal. That, that, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like that was so fucking fun. Like yeah. I mean, and that would like drive you like to literally go buy a new account just so yeah. you could fuck with the uh, what was it the uh, the matchmaking the MMR so you yeah. could go up really quick. And on social, uh, not as a rank slayer, me and Mike, we never got a good team. I swear yeah, to God, we all Mike, were, me and Mike were decent players, but we yeah. never got like we, me and Mike were, <laughs> I was Horace Grant and Mike was Sean Bradley, <laughs> like in the NBA. We never got our Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. We no. needed two guys that could like really fucking, we could be the back end players. But, but it was crazy, dude. Like it was so we funny. Got the, we had like, well, no, we got the 38, which is that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's hard, dude. It's not 38 bad. on, on uh, rank slayer. Yeah, but like it was crazy because like, yeah, like it was a competition. Like it was it, like that's what drew you back into the game. Like I gotta play because I gotta rank the fuck up. And then they took that away, and like the game just lost all of its well, luster. They pussyfied you know? it. They pussyfied it because everyone yeah. was like mad about that they couldn't get a fifty. Like when you saw a fifty in your lobby, and you saw the general thing. You knew that motherfucker was Dude, good. I had so the first time a doctor ever put me on Adderall was right when Jay and I were hardcore fucking into Halo. And like I, I don't, this will be a very, this is a very esoteric tweet or tweet. This is a very esoteric uh, saying that I'm saying right here for people who know a what like Adderall's like and b what Halo's like. But being put on Adderall while you're on a hardcore Halo kick is a mind fuck all right because i'm like i'm gonna fucking do it and i look like uh i look like david arquette in uh in airheads when he's playing the second genesis he's like yeah 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 for like yeah. fucking two months i was like nah, yeah i remember nah, got, i remember nah. got mad at me and this is why we're doing the channel no uh i don't know if the channel had no the channel wasn't there we yet. hadn't started the channel yet we hadn't tried, but we we had reconnected over halo 
So me and Mike were hanging out a lot more and we were uh, we were connecting through Xbox Live. Uh, but it really it really took up a notch when Halo Reach came out uh, because Halo Reach is like when we really got into it. And we stayed up uh, drinking all night waiting for that fucking download. I know, and, and it, it, it was fucking, fucking the ever. Was and then, yeah, it was crazy. But me and Mike got into that. And Mike like would text me and be like, dude, are you playing tonight? I'm like, no, I was like, yeah, and then I'd be like, I wouldn't show up. Be like, dude, I mean, seriously, I've been waiting for like an hour, and I've been doing so. Much. I was on fucking Adderall. I know, it's like I know, four a.m. I, I got to like, work at seven like, a.m. And I'm like, Jake, where the fuck are you? Like, I'm fucking doing this. I was, I was like, it's a fucking video game, dude. I didn't show up. Go play. He's like, I've been playing solo matches for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No. But, I, but I'll tell you what. Like in Halo Reach, we fucking like if there if the ranking system existed like it did in Halo Three, we would be fifties. I swear yeah. to God, dude, oh, yeah. on fire, on fucking dude. fire and reach, dude. That, like, that's maybe what, not Halo 3, but on fire. <laughs> that's what was so fucking frustrating about it, too. It's because, like, like, that shit kept you up all night long, and it made you hyper-focused. So, like, if you have an ADD, like, it made me hyper-focused. And the only thing I was hyper-focused on was fucking ranking up in Halo. So I'd have to be at work at 7 a.m., and I'd be, like, 5.30. I'm like, one more game. I was like a fucking crack rock junkie. Like, just fuck, let's go. We're going to do it. And yeah. then Jay would get so... Jay would get, you guys don't know this about Jay, but... He would get so fucking passive aggressive if you're playing Halo with him. Like he wouldn't be yelling at you, but you knew he was yelling at you. So you like you'd run into root, and that was like I was a I was a fucking uh uh kamikaze. Like what I would do is yeah, I would yeah, run in a fucking like, room. Strategy and Mike was like, no, fuck it, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I would run in a room and I would throw every fucking stinky grenade and every grenade I have and just run in that room, fucking blaze of glory. I'm taking out four motherfuckers before I die. And yeah. Jay would be like, Your fucking grenade hit me, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, he would just slide off. You know like, what I silently. remember about this? I remember. I do. I swear to Christ, I remember this. I remember we were fighting. We were we were fighting. Uh, we were having an argument. <laughs> like it was so crazy because we thought we were MLG or something. Goddamn adults. Like, we were like fucking having like yeah. We were like adults like screaming at each other over a video game. Like what? I mean, yeah, you're getting all the kills. You're stealing them or whatever. And then like. Uh, I got pissed as fuck. I don't know what it was. I don't. I don't know. If Mike threw a fucking grenade because I, I was like, "I'm in Probably. here." Don't, don't throw a fucking grenade. I'm in here. I've got him. I've got a sword. Just wait. <laughs> I got a sword, dude. Wait. And then Mike threw a fucking grenade and I died. And I was bitching. And then Mike, like, I, I was, dude. I was like, I lost my. I was pissed. I was fucking screaming. <laughs> I was fucking mad. I was like, I was like yelling like you know on Wall Street. Like I just lost an account that was fucking huge. I'm gonna lose my job. (laughs) And then Mike, I heard Mike gate. I heard Mike give the fucking mic to his wife, and she could. I and I could hear. He's like, listen, like that. (laughs) And then I could hear her fucking laughing, and he kind of enraged me further. And I'm like, how fucking dare him? This is supposed to be a private time between him and me. And he just I don't remember that at all. I, 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 I remember because I remember her laughing, and then I was like, "Now I'm fucking embarrassed. I'm fucking ashamed of myself because he just showed his fucking wife how dumb I look over a video game." And he's like, "This," uh, and I could hear like, like I could hear the, like the mic one, and then he's like, and then uh, <laughs> I'm like, and I was, I, I, I really just want to turn my Xbox on. Like I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I, to him. I was like, I, I was like, I, then I was like, all right. Well, obviously, uh, she was laughing, so I need to calm down because maybe it's not a big deal. <laughs> That's so, like I don't remember that. Like I have no recollection of that. No, dude. Because I, 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 I went over the fucking edge, dude. Like at this point, <laughs> I was like Oppenheimer. Like I had just dropped a fucking atomic bomb. I was fucking pissed as shit. I don't You're remember. So- I was no. I was going off, dude. Like I would. Like I wouldn't. There was no, you couldn't get a word in edgewise. Like, I, believe, I was just screaming in. No, the- I, I believe it because we would play and I'd be like, hey, we're having fun. We're having a good time. And then two bits of the goddamn Jay. Jay's like, who the fuck threw that fucking grenade in this fucking room? I, and I'm like, hey, listen to this shit. I swear to God, dude, I wish we had recorded those early sessions and released them <laughs> because when I when I look back, like, obviously, like, I was like, oh, uh, Mike and I had good synergy and I thought, you know, we could do a good uh, movie review. But the, I'm like, why do you always get so bad, dude? No, but the game <laughs> passion was like there, and I was like, man, and, and like I wasn't trying to do it. There was no camera. I was just fucking pissed. I was like, I'm trying to fucking do something really great and awesome. I'm on a rampage right now. I want to get an untouchable. I could get a perfection, <laughs> but then this fucking numb nut bitch fucking boy, because he's trying to show off, man. <laughs> there's me in there, not throws a people. fucking grenade in a goddamn tunnel that I just ran into. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, dude. 
<laughs> oh, shit was wild. It's a wild time, man. Kyle, happy birthday, Jay. When the fuck did we get ice cream? I don't know, man. I have, like, we went to Jay Queen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Valentine says, Mike, Jay needs to. By the way, uh, speaking of uh, what he just said, and thank you, um, someone told me the other day you can actually place bets on the Special Olympics now. That seems like uh, something that's profitable for only the uh, the most honest person. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck did we get ice cream? Joe Valentine's Mike J, Mike J needs a drill dough, a drill dough for his for, oh, for his fortieth birthday. So that's one of those like that real sex family? things. It's like it's like. Uh, yeah, I've already got one, Joe. You're late to the party, bro. <laughs> He's got the he's got the ass master five thousand. <laughs> oh god, I got the hiccups. Right it's in four K. Oh, I have the hiccups so bad right now. Uh, Michael Parton said, "Did you guys see the Borderlands trailer? It feels less like the game and more like a Guardians of the Galaxy ripoff. Also, the cast isn't that great. I have haven't you seen, seen it? it. No, I haven't seen it. I, I liked Borderlands. Uh, I got to be honest though, I wasn't a huge fan of of the. I mean, I liked the game. Don't get me wrong. I thought the game was fine, and I played the second one too. I just um." I, I, I wasn't as hyped about it as a lot of other people was, but um, no, I, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it as far as like a trailer dropping. Uh, let's watch it. Let's, uh, well, I gotta go smoke and I, I will. Uh, you mean pee? You mean pee? You're not smoking. You don't I'm smoke gonna, cigarettes. I'm gonna smoke my wiener. I mean, okay. uh, be my, be my wiener. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch it when Jake comes back. <laughs> we'll watch it when Jake comes back, Mike. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so. Yeah, uh, I'll again. I'll save the super chats for when Jay gets back because it's it's Jay's birthday. They're all they're all going to involve that. But yeah, that was a crazy time, man. That was a wild time to be alive. We we were so fucking hardcore into the Halo universe, trying to get those fifties up, get those rankings up. And if anybody's ever had Adderall or been prescribed it, it was a fucking wild time. Because it like if you have ADD or maybe if I don't I don't know how it works, but like I hyper focused. Like being undiagnosed ADD my entire life and like struggling through school and everything. When they did that, I was like, anything that came up, I was like, I'm going to take it and I'm going to rape it and I'm going to fuck it inside and out. Like I would become obsessed with shit and I wouldn't sleep and I'll sleep like two hours a night fucking popping out. It's a, it's a bad thing. Like you really got to control yourself in that situation. But Halo was the thing at that point. And we had so much fucking fun. I would go over Jay's house, and this is when he was with ex psychopath. And we would sit up in that room together. He had a little gaming room in this little suburban house that we would sit in. And she'd be like, Jay, it's time for Mike to go. And I'm like, No, I'm never fucking leaving. But I would go up there and we would sit in these little chairs, just like the ones that we do the we watch the movie things. And now, and what you could see back in those old we watch the movie videos, we sit, sit up in this little room. And I'm like, Hey, Jay, turn it on. And he knew what I was talking about too, because we would turn on. We would mute the game and play it, but there was this song, and I never heard it in my life, but it was called Electric Blue. You know, electric blue, but that would put me in the fucking zone, and we would just sit next to each other and fucking just play the shit out of Halo, and then every 12 to 13, oh, there's a fucking dog there. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hello. Uh, we would. There was a window like two feet away, and we'd pop out the window and like smoke a cigarette, go right back to fucking Halo. Like, I don't, what age must we have been at that time? Like, it, it wasn't that long. It was before the channel, so it was over 12 years ago. But it was, like, right in that window of 12 to 15 years ago. And, like, we would stay up all night fucking long. Just grown adult men playing fucking Halo together. It was the best times. We had the best times. But that's also where the channel came from. Like, Jay was talking about, like, we have so much fun doing this. And, uh, honestly, sometimes we would get in arguments or conversations with other people online. Um. And we were like, let's start a YouTube channel. So we do. And then the first movie we go see is Mark Wahlberg and Contraband. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird. Like this channel, this shit, this shit should not be like none of this shit should be right now. But we were just like, hey, let's do this. And like, all right, we did. And then became obsessed with it. It's probably in part due to Adderall as well. Came obsessed with it as it did with you with uh, Halo. And then Fuck, here we are with all you sons of bitches just hanging out on a fucking on a Thursday night having a goddamn blasty blast. I'm thankful. It's fucking awesome, man. What a what a life. Thanks to you fucking folks. Anyways, I've had too many surveys. Hey. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Are you flowing? Yeah, let me ask you a question. What? 
I'm what is what is yeah, loving dicks. What is one thing that you miss Dick. from the way they they make action movies today than what they made in the nineties? Nutsack. Yep, the nuts. Nutsack. I want a fucking hero who is ripped, who has abs, who sleeps with women and doesn't give a fuck. And yep. they're afraid to make that now. Yep, that's what I miss. I miss the aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know what it was like. Do if you go back in, into the 1990s and you watch uh, action movies like Death Warrant, Lionheart, Bloodsport. I know those are Van Damme movies, but you can pick your favorites. Demolition Man, whatever. There was always an antagonist and a protagonist, and it was clearly defined. And the protagonist was like a man's man, meat and potatoes kind of dude. Didn't give a shit, and it wasn't like a deep story. You know, like it wasn't like uh, you know, like they had to worry about all this political nonsense, and it was just like. A straightforward story. Up against that was always it. against a, an adversary that was bigger and more challenging than he was. Yeah. That was important. Like Rocky, whatever. Yeah. And it was like yeah. a very straightforward story. There was nothing. Yeah. That, that was it. I missed that shit. I agree with you. Hey, we are at, by the way, um, oh. uh, we'll watch the Borderlands trailer when I get back. But uh, we're at Child of the Corn, who's a fucking handsome, wonderful person uh, at 9.01 oh. p.m. 9.01? 901. I haven't been able to get so much because it's, it's, oh it's all about you, you guys. Are you fucking what? Fucking slots. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got it. Right back. All right. Uh, Child of the Corn. Thank you, dude. Uh, listen, I have always wondered what it was like to have a vagina. And that's why I went to the clinic today and had my dick chopped off. Now, all I do is figure myself with lotion. I can't believe I missed out on all this time with a dick. A girl? Ooh, gross. I could just figure myself. And by the way, I'm going to get a job at Hot Topics. You guys like nipples? I can't wait for you to suck them. Come to Hot Topics and see my vagina fucking ass, and I can't wait to give you my nipple and some cream. <laughs> <laughs> we landed that fucking perfect. That was a great fucking land. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Child of the Corn, thank you, dude. Says, happy birthday, Jay. Meeting you and Mike last year was an absolute pleasure. You guys are some real mofos. Much respect. Watched JCVD all week. What's his most slept on film? I'd say nowhere to run. Uh, thank you, dude. Really sweet of you. Uh, it was awesome to meet you, too. You're handsome as fuck, and you're tall, and you definitely could have been a basketball player at some point in your life and played for Kansas. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, slept on movie. Um, you're right. Nowhere to Run is okay. I don't mind Nowhere to Run. I think that's a decent film. I, I know that people hated it when it came out. Or, or it, it didn't do a very well. Um, it didn't do very well at the box office. I would say a, a, a slipped on film for um, Jean Claude is um, uh, Sudden Death. I think Sudden Death is a really good movie. I think uh, where he's the father, he's like a security guard working, a, you know, a hockey event, and then some bad guys show up, and he's got to like, you know, get into gear, uh, morph up, <laughs> as it were, uh, and and protect his kids. I think that's a good movie. I think Sudden Death is a is a really is a slept on uh, John Claude movie. But great question. I mean, I mean, people's opinions are going to differ on that. But yeah, Sudden Death. I think Sudden Death came out in ninety. It was five or six, but yeah, I think definitely people overlooked that movie because that was on the uh, you know the the down of, of John Claude's career. Lee the Machine, dude. Thank you so much, dude. Amazing. Uh, he says, uh, Dr. Loomis, what's your thoughts on Dr. Sartain trying to replace you? When I saw him in 2018, he looks and smells like pee. Well, you are on something, weren't you, Lee? The Machine Bowers. I mean, it's not just a clever name. You're actually a machine because you were able to analyze the situation and understand that Dr. Sartain was a creepy asshole that likes to do coloring books at the children's library. Disgusting ass piece of shit i don't like him i never liked him he came over looking like he smelled like pee and he did trust me and vomit on top of that and the pink stuff you remember in high school where they throw the pink stuff on the vomit and you walk by and you're like what the hell is that I'm like, oh somebody vomited that's what he was dr sartain was a goddamn joke he was a fat irresponsible illiterate incompetent doctor he could have been doing plumbing for the super mario brothers that's what he looked like he looked like an unlockable character in super smash brothers i don't like him i never did don't ask me how i know super smash brothers shut your goddamn mouth gross 
Grass. I said grass. That's what I think. But thank you, Lee. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's so weird sometimes to do uh, Dr. Loomis when um, I'm <laughs> dressed like a fucking state farm agent, but I appreciate you, dude. Uh, while Willie uh, says, Jay, you are such a genuine, funny guy and quick-witted. I would love to see you come up with a 30-minute set and do an open mic comedy story. Happy birthday. Thank you, dude. I would never do that uh, because I am too lazy to write any type of material. And I have mad respect for anybody uh, for an open mic comic uh, and, and what they got to go through and bombing and, and the whole nine yards. I would never even attempt it. Um, I think that uh, I'm, I'm happy that you folks think that I'm somewhat funny and quick with it at times, but I mean, to do an open mic, dude, holy shit, that, that, that's a whole different ball game. Okay. That's like playing for the Yankees and not knowing how to fucking pitch a baseball. Um, you really got to have your nuts twisted on tight to go up there and do that. But I, I have nothing but respect for people that do that, but I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Um, the field of screams. Thank you, Jay. Go to the strip club and ask for a mud flap, Misty. What? Pelvis and Amber Alert. What? Give them these monies and tell them Phil sent you. Happy birthday, Dave. No, dude. I'm not doing that. I don't know. That sounds illegal and fucking shit. What you just said and the way that you described that, I don't know. It just sounds like some shit that I would hear on Unsolved Mysteries. Like, like <laughs> the, the killer was quoted as saying this. Fuck no, dude. <laughs> I, I'm not doing that. And mud flap, oh, dude, what was that like when they fart in your mouth and like they shit at the same time? I'm not doing that. I don't eat poop. I don't do it, okay? I was I was married to a bitch that made me like essentially eat poop back in the day. Not like, not like literally. I'm sure she would have. But Jesus, I'm not doing that. Can I get a mud flap, Misty? Oh, yeah, hold on. I got to like eat some beans and shit and I'll be right with you. No, sir. No, thank you. No, thank you. The Merkins, dude. Thank you, dude. Uh, man, how many times do I have to say, let's put on our own event? Come on, y'all. I got three kids. I understand busy. Dude, listen. Roy, it's going to happen, okay? I mean, you look at things. You look at the universe. You look at the extinction of the dinosaurs. It was only a matter of time before that comet hit the earth, right? There was only a matter of time before Bill Clinton admitting to getting his dick sucked in the Oval Office. There was only a matter of time. Before Donald Trump said, fuck the White House, I'm going to take <laughs> my course. <laughs> it's not about America. It's about me. Shut up. That's what he said. <laughs> so at some point, yes, uh, Roy, we got to get together. And like, I would love to, you know what? You're invited. Why don't you come down in July and we'll brainstorm an idea. <laughs> well, I don't care, man. We'll figure out something together. I, I'd love to do uh, like a full on collab, you know, but I, I like I, me and Mike have talked about this before. I don't know. If you would want us to do a live thing with you, with you and your audience, I don't know if that would work out, bro. Like it might just be like, you know, it it would be so quiet on some of our jokes. Crickets would literally be getting married and divorced out in the audience. It would be that quiet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude. I mean, at some point, I, 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 I you got to come back on the show at some point, dude. Yeah, we fucked that up last time we had them on. We had we mm -hmm. had. A internet issues it was at the start of the covid and, and learning live streaming and stuff but we got yeah. to figure it out now uh what time stamp are you that was at 9 10 is the Mercus. i just read them oh iron samurai jay happy birthday mike i would love to hear your best voice impersonation of jay slenderman oh. and you, you're making fun of slenderman and saying how much the subway sandwiches suck and jay you're you, you're an angry slenderman oh fuck that's weird dude um, okay i like it though i like it my best oh fuck this is gonna be bad um no, do it. Little, how little how little doggy? <laughs> I can't stop. I, no, do it, dude. Uh, look upon, look upon the world, little doggy. You want to put that boots, little doggy? You want to put that boots? Come over my hot you come over my hot pet, you little doggy. <laughs> so you sound like a deaf subway sandwich, man. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go, you put a hundred dollar bill on the dash, you're not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> Oh uh, no, no! I do want uh, to see angry fucking Slenderman though. Okay, well, I, I, you know, it's weird because Slenderman is not gonna, okay, but <sighs> first off, me have no anger issue ever, but this really chat me butthole. My dude, somebody come on and post that me 
trying to make me look like foo. Talking about little doggy. Come get you sack lunch. Me don't lie, fam. Me don't play that game at all. <laughs> you know why me don't play that game at all? Because me don't like making fun of people. But this person enjoy it. Enjoy that situation. <laughs> me don't enjoy that situation. <laughs> me don't like that situation. <laughs> it like Paul Shore trying to make a movie of me life. Me don't push it. <laughs> Go back to you hidey hole and work on you safe. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> that's that was fun. That's, 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 that's the best I got. Rob Barker says, "Happy birthday, Jay! Thanks, hey, Rob. Thank you, dude." Uh, <laughs> uh, the Field of Screams podcast says, "Mike, this is for you. Ask for Christy Kankles." Yeah, dude. He's telling me to ask for a mud flap from Amber at a strip club, and I'm like, Christy I don't know what a fucking mud flap is. Don't look it up. I don't think we could show it on on YouTube. I'm just gonna look it up silently. Christy, Christy Kankles. It says, um. Female worship leader and artist. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Gang, where you at? Hashtag pregnancy. Hashtag pregnancy swelling. Uh, I don't fucking know. I was going to say, type in, uh, you might have to type in uh, Christy Kankel's porn. Yeah, I, I can't show that here. The market says lag test. What, uh, lag test. Talk about. 669, dude. 69, dude. How's your fucking AT&T today, ladies and gentlemen? It, mine's going great. <laughs> Holly Rock said, "Happy birthday, Jay Forty. Never looks so good. Hey, Love you, Holly. Yeah, it's ugly. I don't like it. Love you too. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm fucking oh, handsome I, tonight, pal. Hey, dude. I appreciate fucking it. Fucking handsome. I'd fuck you. I mm. would. Anyways, but Robin Barker also says, "Have you guys seen the Robo Doc documentary yet? Nope. We did. Nope. Yeah, we reviewed the first two episodes. I know, of that I, I, was, I, was, yeah. I was joking." <laughs> <laughs> I you forgot. forgot you fucking fuck. Well, I'm 40 years old on top of the fact that I've been drinking <laughs> cerveza. We did. Well, I think we reviewed the first two. It was fucking awesome, by the way. It was really, really good. Yeah, did they release the final episodes? Uh yeah, yeah. It's been on of for like a year or five. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're always like, like like, oh yeah, we're gonna watch the whole series. And people are like, really? Like you guys gonna watch the two episodes? And like, no, I'm good. Nighttime says Winnie the Pooh Pooh Blood and Honey 2 comes out next March. Will you be driving 45 minutes to see it in theaters, my friend? That's, that's for Mike. No. I haven't seen the first one. I haven't either. I'm not going to watch that fucking shit. What they did is they said, hey, here's an opportunity where you can spend $12 in a fucking McDonald's goddamn coupon, make a movie, put that shit in fucking theaters under a Fathom Specials events, charge twice the ticket price for it, and then fend over everyone and fuck the shit out of them for it. Fuck those movies and fuck those people who do them. It's bad for horror. It's bad for everyone. Don't fucking give those people money. Well, to be fair though, uh, a Winnie the Pooh horror movie could have worked if they had act like if it had like had any kind of like financial backing and it wasn't like right. like it was filmed at the back of a, a, a Win Dixie. Yeah, if it wasn't a fucking cash grab, yeah, it looked like shit. shit is. Yeah, it looked like shit. Uh, Colton Candler, I love you, Colton. Hey, man. Tell Haley I'm wearing the fucking dude. I actually had all three. Um, bracelets on as they usually do but they got tied up together i have to untie them uh, it's like your s your super nintendo controllers when you were a kid happy birthday jay i'm a Thank ps you. guy but i went out and got an xbox series s today Ooh. game pass is all timer tier it did is. y'all see the updates on the crystal lake show love y'all whoa there's updates on i the didn't crystal know lake show. but you are right colton as far as the uh game pass I mean, I feel like that's the future of Xbox. I, I feel like that's how they're going to be competitive, and they already know that. They're going to be the Netflix of uh, of of the gaming consoles, which is, I mean, smart for them. I mean, they're not even trying anymore, really, to come out with um, first studio game. They bought, what, what, they bought Bethesda for, like, I don't know how many quadrillion billions of fucking dollars, and they just got done buying Infinity Ward, like COD and all that shit. I don't think they have any interest in, in making uh, first party games for like exclusivity to their console. They just want to like fatten up the Game Pass and make that the Netflix. Yeah. Of the like like when PS6 comes out, which by the way I heard somebody at Sony said that, and I was like, what the fuck? They were like, PS5 is entering into its latter days. Like no fucking way, dude. That's I am wild. not ready. I am not ready to spend. You know, another five hundred dollars on a fucking system. But As someone who like, hasn't bought a like, PS Five yet, I'm cool with it. Because well, like, they mean like 20, I think they meant like 2027. But they also oh, said okay. they also meant like the PS Five was going to have like massive support for a long time. It wasn't just going to be like tossed away. But I don't think Xbox is interested any longer uh, in trying to outdo Sony. 
I think they're just trying to be like, they're, they're trying to be the next uh, creative force, like much like Netflix was against Blockbuster. They're like, we're getting ahead of this now and we're yeah. going to make a, um, a gaming console that will do it all. Like it yeah. will do it all. Well, like, I, I think I think Xbox Game Pass is pretty cool. As somebody who really wants a uh, PS5, uh, because all the good games seem to be on there, Game Pass is cool. Because like, if you're just like, hey, I'm tonight, I'm gonna game. I haven't gamed in a while. I'm gonna go download a game, and you can. Yeah. I probably paid way more into it than I'll ever fucking use out of it. But it's a pretty cool thing. I well, like also, it, Game I, Pass is cheaper than fucking uh, PS Plus. Yeah, PS Plus is insane. I had no idea there was updates on Crystal Lake. I just Googled it. I don't see anything, but I hope so. I, I fucking want some. Colton just lying. Stop he, lying, Colton. Colton's trying to be like, look, look at my picture with, uh, with, you know, Sean was Sean from um the Heads Without Two Heads podcast. Two heads, two two thing with two heads podcast with Chris Nelson. You both look like bullies in that, Colton. I don't like. Yeah, that stop picture. bullying us, Colton. You look like a bully. Fuck? God damn it. Geek Claire podcast says, happy birthday, Jay. You guys inspired me to start a podcast. Hey, Geek right. Claire. Thanks like for the motivation. Here's to another 40 years. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not going to make it that far. But, you know, we're looking at 10. <laughs> we're looking at 10. <laughs> if, if uh, we're, looking at, we're looking at 10, though. Uh, yeah, dude, thank you. Appreciate that, dude. And and I like that podcast name, Geek Claire. That sounds cool. I yeah, like dude. It. Hey, the coolest thing, man, um, that we've done here is that, like, it used to be so cool to be at work and like and and when podcasts were starting to come out and i found this thing called like uh fuck i forgot the name of it, it was some canadian fucking movie podcast and it was so cool and then when we started this one it was like oh fuck we could do that too i think everybody should do it man like do it don't do like some fucking youtubers and just go back through our catalog and rip off every video we ever did and then and like then who literally, Mike? like who uh, say who it is uh say you know, who it is jay would take me all night there's so many but i got, like, one. I got uh, a name for you i got a name for you <laughs> Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, that fucker stole, Joe everything, Rogan from stole us. everything from us. <laughs> but it's so fucking cool, man. Like from an inspiration standpoint, if you're gonna do your own thing, that's fucking awesome, man. That we're honored by that, honestly. You know what? By the way, I will say uh, I read a, a recent article. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't an article, uh, it was a YouTube video, and I'm sorry, I confused that. You don't um, read because I don't read. I was just reading a text on a YouTube video. Uh, but it was like uh, how modern podcasts ruin ruined the podcast community, and they had um impulsive the logan paul podcast uh, yeah. alongside the the uh, the joe rogan podcast and that they pretty much uh came in and and they um jawsed the podcast scene like that was it like it's either in, you have to be on that level of impulsive or joe rogan or something yeah. like that to even make a dent anymore which is probably true but i mean youtube's always been competitive me and mike started in 2012 mm -hmm. uh and it was overloaded with like um uh movie review not as much not not nearly as much but there was still like you had to compete to get in there i don't yeah. think that's true i don't think that they ruined podcasting i just um, think I, I feel like they brought a different I, I feel like they brought a different challenge to it like you gotta elevate your but to be fair like we're not like you had like a celebrity status like joe rogan he's gonna get big names right yeah um, and then in like the Logans are going to get big names, but I don't yeah. feel like they ruined it. I, I actually, I enjoy Joe Rogan's podcast to the point where like he does interview like scientists and like, mm. like he asked like weird, like I was eating mushrooms last night and I decided that what if I yeah. was born on Mars? What would happen if I had, if I, if I, if, if, if reincarnation exists and past life exists, what if I came back tomorrow and I said that I was born on Mars when Mars was still a, was still a, a community. <laughs> I do. I, no, I, I don't think they ruined it. I just think they elevated the competition. No, I, I, anything that's like that, people are going to jump on. I just think that if you're new and you're starting something, like everybody wants to look at something and be like, "Well, it's it's super easy to copy people." Like, and that's going to get you so far. Like, it will. Like, it obviously it has. It's gonna it's gonna feed off the fucking carcasses of those who pioneered the thing that you're doing. You're gonna feed off their fucking carcasses like goddamn leeches. Like so many people have with us and so many other things. But it's only gonna get you so fucking far. The thing is, yeah, is if anybody's like, thinking about starting a podcast like they, or anything, they ruined it though. They no, I. I just think that if you're going to start something, instead of looking at, hey, this person's doing this, I'm going to also do that and also ask them also ask them to come on our channel and 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 bump us up. Think of it the opposite way. Think what is nobody doing? 
what is nobody doing that I can be the first fucking person to do? Yeah. That's what you should fucking the do. The problem is, you know? is when you do that, though, just 100% just expect people to copy it. Because if it gets if it gets right. fire and it gets like if it gets going like yeah it, like you're gonna have 15 people in the wings I'm like if they can do it yeah you know it's, yeah especially yeah for sure Christopher Sampson fly me to the moon like that bitch Alex Crampson says happy birthday Jay you Thank deserve you, the best day Mike I know I don't have to tell you how how to party so have fun record some of the shenanigans and let us see the good times being had cheers oh, brothers I'm sure it will be uh tomorrow night we're gonna go out um and 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 celebrate with uh it's a it's a small gathering it's just gonna be me my wife uh Mike, his wife, and my brother, and his and half wife. of the Seattle Kraken's volleyball team, and the Kraken's uh, volleyball team will be there and spiking <laughs> all awesome. sorts of drinks in my ass, and I can't <laughs> wait. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, maybe it'll be some recording. But I always feel weird about that. Like if 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 if, if Mike pulled out a camera, like let's record this for the channel. <laughs> it's like why <laughs> these are our special private time yeah i was like uh, i don't know it's always i always i've always felt like that though it's like if it's if it's just like a private special moment why record it and upload it right not you know the I mean? same way i don't, I honestly don't post a lot of private shit either but hey maybe tomorrow night one night uh, at some point tomorrow night we will well uh, I, I told mike before i was like hey listen after we're done you know farting around and let's just go back to you know your your place and just you know hang out and maybe maybe you'll maybe you'll get like a drunken instagram video or something yeah That'd be instagram fun. live follow on instagram or on our facebook or not the not the uh fan page but the actual face who knows who knows what'll happen it could happen but we love you chris you're the Thank fucking you, best dude one of the you're best always gonna be my bing rams you're always my bing rams it doesn't matter <laughs> it's, it's if ever do a fan Peter film my bing rams dude love you chris uh, sky anderson happy birthday Jake. hey thank you scott dude and Gary B, go ahead, Jay and Mike. It's fitting for Mike since my picture is with Nev Campbell, my Hollywood crush, to answer your question from earlier. Oh, she um, okay, yeah. Hey, you guys Take look good down. together. Are you guys Go a couple? Uh, that's LFO, by the way. If you guys don't know, one of the greatest uh, boy bands of all time. Are they the ones who did the uh, um, uh, hang on, the girls of the summer? Yeah, the summer. girls of summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, Eminem made fun uh, of them, and I Wish laughed. For falling star. Wondering where you are. Yeah, you Do I that. ever cross your mind in the warm sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> She's from the City of Angels. <laughs> no, dude, LFO. Well, I felt bad for the dude. Like one of the, their, their lead singer died of cancer. Like he's young, dude. Oh, uh, that's I didn't I did not know that. That's sad yeah, as fuck. Can... I know Eminem made fun of them, and it was really funny at the time. Yeah. But that that is sad. Kyle says, "Madame Webb is my favorite movie of all time." Just fucking kidding. <laughs> yeah, dude. I could tell by your profile pic you were kidding. Dude, I'm telling you, when that movie comes out on VOD, you and I are doing a fucking commentary for the fucking well, there's a lot it's of hilariously do, bad. Like, we need to do that. We, I, I, we've done half baked. I think we've done half baked. I don't know. Like, I don't know what we've done. Like, no, we've like, never again, done half baked. We need to. Like, you, like, I, like, again, if you guys don't understand what we're talking about, like, you guys have got to, like, Mike just said, it's free right now to join up and see what it's all about. Yeah, uh, there's so many commentaries on there. I don't even know what we've not done. But I feel like uh, I feel like we've not done um, a lot of them that would be like hilarious, like yeah, like uh, like because uh, we well that's we put the choice in in the Patreon's hands, uh, like what do you want us to watch or do a commentary tonight for or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's it's the fucking best, dude. Those are so fun. We got a couple coming up soon too. Kyle says, uh, "Oh, I just fucking read that. What's wrong with me? I'm, I'm." But yeah, but, I, but what you were saying was like, Madam Web. When it comes out, we got to do a commentary for. Oh, it. dude, it's gonna be so. You're gonna laugh your ass off. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever fucking seen. The Field of Screams podcast. My super chats earlier were just goofy, made up stripper names. Didn't mean any dirty codes or adult film stars or anything. Didn't want to panic, Jay. Well, you did. Well, you did. <laughs> because I, I I felt like I was in the same situation when Mike said he paid for my fucking lap dance, and obviously that wasn't true. And the fucking cops music came on, and like I had to run out of there and go across the street to McDonald's, and then Mike came across the street, drugs hey, passed out the back seat. I what? never fucking said I paid for your lap dance. Here's yes. what happened. No, 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 no. 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 Hold on, hold no. on, everybody. I said I looked at a stripper, and Jay was sitting there, and he was still in, he was still um, uh, married to a bitch face McGee. Yeah, and he didn't want anything to do with the strip club, but we're there for someone else's bachelor. Yeah, because it wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah, it was someone else's bachelor party, and we're in there just to let you guys know with the actual story. We're sitting around in a circle, and we'd been in the fucking. I I'd had like 
76 <laughs> drinks. I was going yeah, fucking, going, yeah. I was off the planet. And I looked at a stripper and I said, I looked at Jay and I said, that guy wants a lap dance. That's all I fucking said. All right. I said, that guy wants a dance. Yeah. And Jay's like, I, didn't no. know stri- I didn't know how strip clubs worked. <laughs> it was just Jay's first time at a strip club. I know, I've I never like, been in there. Give that man a dance. And Jay's like, no, no. And she like she takes him by the hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. I sound like you, a bad guy in a Mario Bros. like game. No, no, no. You no. would not go touch it. You will not uh, touch. She takes Jay by the hand, leads him back to the back, gives him a dance, and then comes back. It was and the again, worst dance of all time, by the way. It was a shit fucking dance. I didn't get hard once. Listen, I this is one of the drunkest I've ever been in my life. I just so you guys know, just to just to paint the picture. But Jay comes back and I'm like, yeah, you gotta dance. And he's like, God damn it, I fucking hate you. And then the stripper comes up to me, she's like, give my fucking $25. It's like and 50. I was like, it was like, it was more than that. It was like yeah, it was probably bucks. like I was like, I'm not that ugly, bitch. You look like <laughs> a I was, fucking crack whore from fucking a goddamn red hot chili peppers music video. And I knew I knew Jay had. Like seven. I did not have cards. the. Ca- I did not have the cash. But yeah, but not. you had like seven credit cards. You I had a fucking credit card. To know that you were at the strip club. The fucking yeah. I had a credit card that the eye of Mordor, meaning my <laughs> ex-wife, would see if I used it. But and like, said, I in bought my a fucking mind, lap dance. In my mind, I was like, she knows he's here because we're at a fucking no. bachelor party. So I was like, she comes up to me, she's like, give him my money. And I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't get the dance though. Like you see, like I didn't get the dance. I said that he should get a dance. I never said I was gonna pay for yeah. it. And I much got <laughs> that so explanation. Weird. And I would have paid for it. Like no, that's, that's but I, I got I got that much explanation out of my out of my mouth before she was like. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's like 12 <laughs> dudes in fucking suits shoving us out the fucking doors. And like, it was like fucking someone just butt fingered James Bond came in and like just kicked us the fuck out. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know what just happened. Like, it was crazy. It I was, was over, I was at, I, like, dude, I remember what happened. I, I walked, I, like, like, I burst out of the fucking like strip room, like, like I was in the final level of a boss battle. Like, I went, <laughs> like, I, I fucking, you know, I was like, <laughs> And I walked out, and I was, like, walking angrily. And I was like, there's a McDonald's across the street. I have to call my wife. Like, I was pussy. Yeah, well, we were getting kicked out. Jay just fucking dipped out. I, I dipped out. I was like, I got to get out of here before, like, bad things happen. Because I don't know what's going on. I was so fucking You took drunk. that free dance, and you just fucking I was, ran dude, away. I, she, dude, that was. She has let, to pay for her college bills, Jay. Oh, no, dude, she did this, dude. I, this this the strip, okay? She came in, and she's like, what's up, baby? I'm like, and she's like, yeah. <laughs> And then I was sitting there. I was, dude, I, like, you guys don't know. I was fucking IV line drunk. Like, I was like, <laughs> like, I was fucking hammered, dude. Like, I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even, I, I, it took effort to open my eyelids. And she was like, you like that? And she's got, she got all, and she's like, like, she's like, started grinding on me. And like, she took off her top. And she's like, never, yeah. Jade, never been to a strip club, by the way. I never been to a strip club. So this is my first experience of a, of a lap dance. And then she's like, you know, like, oh, yeah. And then she took off her fucking like top, and it looked like like her titties looked like like shit like you'd see on cops, like that were blurred out, but they were like mosquito tits. And she's like, Ugh. and she's like, I was like, I was like, okay. And it, I, like I'm like I I felt like Charles Xavier. My legs didn't even work. Like I was paralyzed. And she started grinding her her ass because she like. Like she had this like throwaway like skirt and like it was like it was like velcroed in and she pulled it off like that like did like a whole magician thing like she threw it into the darkness and she's like uh, and she's making all these noises and she's like uh, like that and I was like I'm literally not hard like I was thinking to myself I was like I'm what are you grinding on I'm literally not hard you're grinding on like the the ends of my jeans uh, where my crotch section like, like I wasn't hard at all and I'm like like that like i i was like and then i was like i think i i think she like grabbed my arm like my hand and she's like but like she just slammed it on her thigh i'm like okay that's great it's a piece of flesh like there was no sexual thing going on and then i was like i gotta get out of here it's like make me a tv but yeah and there was like call fucking, me spike like dude yeah i was like fucking pink floyd was playing somewhere and there was lights and they were like changing <laughs> And I'm like, I gotta get out of here. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. It was so good. I really appreciate. It. I, I was talking to her like she just changed the oil of my car. Like, I'm like it was. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Like, you know, I'm like you didn't really do anything. And then I fucking ran out. And like, and I just wanted to get that fresh air. And I fucking burst into the world from the strip club. And I was like, 
And I was like, McDonald's is over that way. And I ran over and I called my wife at the time. And she was a fucking... What a mistake you made. I know, dude. What a mistake you made. She was driving around like a fucking cop. Waiting on, the, you know, the bulletin. Like, she was waiting on the APB to be put out so she could fucking beat me up. And I called her, and then she was like, Where the fuck are you? I'm like, I'm just McDonald's across the street from the strip club. You come? And she's like, I'll be right there. And then we're all in the fucking parking lot fighting Mike each other. Out, and then I didn't know what was going on. I was just hanging out. And then Cody gets out, like, on my brother. And he's like, what the fuck you doing, bro? You gonna fucking meet me all fuck? Fuck you, man. fuck you, man. and they like started bumping chests with me like we we're like at, at a volleyball tournament and we had just won. He was like, "What are you doing, bro?" <laughs> and then I was getting mad. I, we almost got into a fight. And then his fucking form, like his future brother-in-law, he's like, "No, no, no, we're not getting, we're not doing that." He gets out of the car like he's Captain Fantastic, and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm just saying, dude. Like, I mean, I'm just sitting here at McDonald's and I'm waiting for my wife to pick me up." And then this asshole comes up to me and, like, try to fart. Like, I didn't ask for a fucking dance. And then he was like, I got a brother, too, dude. I got a brother, dude. I, I got a brother. Like, I get it, dude. You're drunk. I understand. And then Mike, I was yelling for Mike. And Mike is in the fucking backseat of this car of Cody's brother-in-law. And the window rolls down like he's Samuel L. Jackson at the fucking red carpet premiere. And I see him. <laughs> I was like, Mike! Mike! And he's like, what's going on, man? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> all I was like, this. I know he was out. I was like, there's so there's no help. All of this for me just walking in a strip club and going, give that man a yeah. dance. And He's then my it. fucking wife shows up. And then one of the other assholes that were on scene that were supposed to be the, the, the foremans of Cody's bachelor party, uh, uh, name of Kirkman, was like, oh, Aaron's here. Aaron's here. Woo. Big titty Aaron outlaw, which is her fucking like friend, right? Big titty girl, like kind of known as a slut back in the day and he's like oh yeah Aaron's out. I'm like you motherfuckers don't understand what's happening I'm gonna get my ass nuked when I go home just because I called for a pickup <laughs> like dude it was fucking awful like that and, was a and, night that, that was, was a night. night. Yeah, that was a night to remember. I ended up sleeping next to a barn. I like I, I tried to like we went to a party after that there was so much tension and there were so many things happening uh from everything that had gone down that I found myself um, at someone's house and I didn't know where it was. And I thought in my, my mind's eye, I thought that my house was like two blocks away. Mm. Like, so like, I thought I was close to home. I remember that. So when nobody was looking, I just fucking scooted out of the party. Cause we went back to, after all that shit, we went back to somebody's house. It was in Lexington. Hang in the garage. Yeah. We're hanging out in a the garage. There's all these people. I don't know. I am 70 fucking drinks to the wind. Just gone. And I'm thinking, I got to get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, I just want to go home. So I, I ran out. Like, I, when nobody was looking, I snuck like a ninja out of the fucking back gate. And I just started walking, thinking I knew where my house was, right? And I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking. And then finally, I just take a turn. And then it's nothing but fucking horse farm all of a sudden. It is dark. It's like 4 a.m. It's pitch black. There's nothing but horse fences and a two lane road. And I'm walking. And suddenly, finally, I, I get to the realization that I am not in my own city. Like I'm not at home. And yeah. I, I just got tired. So I, I, I took off my shirt <laughs> and I used it I as a pillow. Yeah. And I laid down in a ditch. Like there's like a there's like a there's like a two ply uh horse farm fence right here. Yeah. And there's a ditch and then there's a road. And I took off my own shirt. And I used it as a pillow and I just got in the ditch and I just went to sleep. Like I just went to sleep in the fucking ditch, woke up the next fucking morning, realizing I was 45 minutes away from my own house, woke up cars honking and shit, driving to work the next day at like 5 a.m. And thinking, oh, fuck, where even am I? Walked to a stoplight and just sat down, just defeated as fuck against the stoplight. And, and then I see the, the Jeep with everybody that was at the party coming, going, Oh, we found you. There you are. Yeah, but they, and well, they that was like you, you like shit though. Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, I, well, I deserved it. I mean, that was nobody was watching night. you. Like, I mean, I'm glad. Like, listen, my ex this is like con, 20 years my ago. Got fucking uh, Godzilla ass, bitch ass, fucking wife. At least I got a fucking ride home. <laughs> like, I got to go home and pass out. I don't know what yeah. happened after that, but I, I should have died that night. Yeah, I know. I mean, she's probably drunk too. I but can't believe like, nobody called. They, they saw like basically they saw a dead body, shirtless on the side of the road. Yeah, and not, 
I, or at least you should have you should have got ass raped at least all night. Not one motherfucker called the cops to come check on me. I just fucking passed out like well, dude, I, 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 I yelled for you. Like I was yelling for the like <laughs> like the the, the the final ally that I had because <laughs> Cody was coming out of the car at me. Like he was trying to fight me, dude. And I'm like, I don't want to fight my brother. But I was like, now we're gonna have like a fucking double dragon like standoff. And he was like, and I was like, Mike, and you were like, <laughs> and you're like, and I think Mike was like, why are y'all fighting? Like, like he was like fucking Jim Morrison in the back let's, seat. Hey, let's and just I, hope. I, you know, it's like, and again, I was like, I didn't even know. Like, dude, I was so like that was that was drunk sick. I was fucking <laughs> drunk sick. I didn't even know what the fuck just happened. Dude. And I didn't that and God bless that girl. She probably tried her best to get my dick hard <laughs> and it didn't work at all. She was either a bad dancer or I was just too drunk to fill it because she was like she was making all sorts of noises. Like my dick was like she was grinding on my dick. I was like, <laughs> that's like the pointy end of my jeans. Like where the zipper is. Well, You're grinding on that. All I know is that the, the, the next day, the guy that I almost got in a fight with the night before took me home and I crawled in bed with my wife and she was like, what the fuck happened? And I was like, you don't even want to know. <laughs> so you just, you I brought her McDonald's. I was like, here's some, it. here's a couple of breakfast burritos. Shove I got to go to sleep for like a week. <laughs> it's like, don't ask questions. Don't ask <laughs> you don't want answers. You don't want answers to. Tim C, holy fucking shit, man. Thank you. I just, I got the burps, dude. Uh, uh. Tim. Mike, you missed my super chat hey, from about 25 you, to 35 minutes ago. Is this punishment for missing the last live stream? More randomness. What are your guys' favorite running shoes? <laughs> it's a debate going on in the chat. I'll go back, by the way. I'll go back, Tim. I'll catch that one. Dude, Tim, thank, thank you, you man. What a sweet dude you are. And, and, and you still look handsome. I definitely feel like you would be um, yeah. you'd be that bully in high school that I would never be able to get your girl from you. And we would become friends afterwards when you're like, my girl is my life. Like it would be a it would be a wholesome story in the eighties. Um, running shoes. Uh, I don't run anywhere. I walk casually to things that I need to get done. So I would say Adidas if I had to pick one. It's a good choice. Adidas is a solid choice. Uh, I have, you know, like so I bought these right, Adidas as you said. And it's a nice idea because I was like, I need some gym shoes. Um, and I bought these. The problem with these fucking things is they feel amazing when you're running around. Oh, God. They feel amazing when you're, when you're running around. But the second you like, hey, walk into a puddle. Will you excuse me for a minute so I can go get yelled at by my wife? Because I'm going to go <laughs> ask her to get me more alcohol. But I'm I'm sure she's going to get angry about it. But so, I'll wait for you. I will wait for you. No, no. Continue. Your, it's your birthday. Uh, she can't yell at you. Tell her I said that. I have drank a lot. Tell her I said that she could not fucking complain. She doesn't right care about you. Or I'll sign anybody. it. I'll I owe you it. Go forth and prosper, young man. You know, you know what, motherfuckers? I want to get Do it. fucking drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we still have to go out tomorrow night. You call me your ass down. No, no, I mean, it's going to be at 7 o'clock, though. I'll be back. Yeah, it's fine. We got time. Okay. Uh, Tim. Yeah, I don't. I don't have running. My my favorite running shoes are cheap fucking running shoes. You know, like fifty bucks. You walk into a puddle and your whole day's ruined. Kind of kind of running shoes. Um, and Jay doesn't run. I know that. I know that about Jay. I'm trying to find your last super chat here. I'm I'm sco I'm scooting and I'm scooting and I'm scooting, and I feel like it's um um is, is it fucking that one? Because holy fucking tit shit, dude. Like holy fucking tit shits! You guys are too fucking sweet to us. I will wait till Jay comes back to read that. If that's the one we missed, holy goddamn fart snouts! And that's not; those aren't even words. I'm just making up shit at this point because that's so fucking sweet. I can't handle it in my in my ting tangs late at night. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, but <laughs> uh, leave it to you guys, man. Leave it to you guys. I have one shoe on right now. I'm I'm just I can't find the other one, and I don't have the wherewithal to put it on. So I'm just gonna take off the second shoe, and then I'll feel free and equal. But uh, leave it to you guys to take a random fucking day of the week and make it super fucking special and awesome. You guys are the fucking best. We love you guys so much. I can hear Jay like rustling around. You guys hear that? No, that was just me. Oh. No, nope, that was just me. Uh, every time I talk, I can hear it again. Anyways, um, leave it to you guys to take a random fucking Thursday night. Is it Thursday? I don't know. 
I don't know where I am right now, but uh, and make it super fucking special. You guys are the best fucking coolest goddamn audience and just human beings in the fucking world. We're lucky sons of bitches, man, to be able to hang out with you guys and have you guys hang out with us. Special occasions like this. Jay's fucking 40, man. 40. I've been hanging out with this son of a bitch since we were. So the first time I met Jay, I was in fucking. Oh, my God. It was right when I moved to Kentucky. And I was like in fifth grade. And I was hanging out with this younger brother, Cody, and I went over his house and then Jay came out and he's like trying to start shit. And like him and Cody are fighting. And I was like, hang on, my friend, Cody, I will fight this guy for you. Cause that's the kind of guy I am. And like started shit with Jay. Like me and Jay are getting into it. And then one day Cody has this friend come out of the fucking woods named Josh back. And he's like, I'm going to go hang out with him. And I was like, all right, fuck you too. And then Jay's like, you want to play star Wars toys? And I was like, yeah, I'll play star Wars toys with you. Even though we have like beef in the past. And then Jay and I just hang out in the kitchen of my mom's house playing Star Wars toys. And then from there on, it was fucking great. Like, we're all such good friends. And then, like, I would go over there. Like, so, like I'm talking the best fucking memories, you guys. Like, summertime, summer in the fucking air. Uh, Jay's mom was always so fucking sweet. My mom was always so fucking good to me uh, in a lot of ways that uh, I'll never be able to fucking put into words but she was always so good to me and she would let me hang out over their house and like hang out with them and do shit and she would take me on vacations with them and stuff like that and like fucking just the best times man and talking like little fucking kids you know little fucking kids like uh so fifth grade me and cody used to get in fist fights in the bathroom and in, in fifth grade and that's how we became friends so we're talking that long fucking wild i can't believe fucking 40 you're so old dude you're so old. I know, and you should see my sex life. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Here we are. I, I tried. I was like... How'd it go? I didn't. <laughs> uh, she was like, come on. It's like You're going to be drinking tomorrow. Fucking stop. She's right. You are. Yeah, uh, and, and she was, you know, and she was sleeping, and I woke her up in a very aggressive way. <laughs> I walked in, and I slammed the door open like I was in fucking this boy's life. As Robert De Niro, and I slammed it, and I liar whore, liar some the, whore. Some of the plaster came off the wall. I'm like, go get me more beer. <laughs> and she's like, baby, I don't even know what time it is. I was like, it's time for you to get me beer, <laughs> or I'll drive myself, and that consequence will be on you. <laughs> the iron claw is coming for you. No, but you guys are uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. I like yeah. me and Mike were like, I, I, I had literally told Mike, I was like. I, I figured we'll do a two hour stream. Yeah, we're gonna uh, do a just, short one. Uh, yeah, just farting around and, and having a good time with you guys. And and you guys are so generous and, and amazing. Thank you guys. Uh it's really it's really uh humbling. Uh hey buddy, wait to, until you see this. Wait until you see this Tim C fucking super. Oh chat my that fucking, fucking god, dude. Wait until you see that fucking shit, pal. Happy Holy birthday, shit, Jay. Dude. Enjoy the last couple hours of it. Random, you guys seen guns akimbo with that yes. wizard geek and the goddess samara weaving you're yeah uh Sexy. action movie worth a watch and of course she looks great she even does her trademark snort laugh which is always appreciated be well all tim fucking see everybody dude, tim thank you dude i'm gonna take tennis lessons from you and make out with you uh when your wife's not watching one day i swear to god and we'll get new york pizza together i dude i we have seen guns akimbo and we actually liked it i think we gave it I a pretty review good score that, like yeah, we gave it. We yeah, we reviewed that. Um, and uh, yeah, Samara Weaving. Uh, Mike and I have actually praised and licked her butthole multiple times on this channel about how much of an underappreciated actress that she is. I feel I feel like Samara Weaving would be a very good replacement for Linda Hamilton if they ever redid Terminator as Sarah Connor. Uh, I I feel like she has the the right stuff, as they would say, to to carry that franchise into the future. Um. Yes, I. I, I just want to taste your balls. Uh, I love it, dude. <laughs> well, fucking sad, dude. Tim, you're a fucking sweetheart, dude. You're too good to you us. Guys, we don't well, deserve. I you. mean, all you guys are amazing. I mean, holy shit, dude. Like, I mean, I, I literally, I mean, you guys didn't have to donate nothing. Um, and we just wanted to hang out with you guys. I wanted to experience uh, my 40th birthday. It's a big deal. Uh, for some. Like, uh, but I want to experience with, with you guys. Um, uh, but like, dude, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you guys so much, dude. 
Well, fucking said we fucking love you, Tim. Thank you so much, dude. That's that's too sweet. Jacob as well. Thank you so fucking you, much, Jacob. man. Happy birthday, Jay. Hope your day was great, man. Here is some Mick Ultra money. By the love way, you. I didn't forget like last time. Love you guys. I'll be drinking a beverage in your honor. I'll be I'll be playing Guitar Hero in yours. Are you act? Are, are, by the way, are you actually out of? Uh, are you out of alcohol beverages? I'm right I'm I'm uh, running. Uh, I'm on my last. Okay, I was gonna make you chug what you had in honor of Jacob and Tim, mm -hmm. but I won't do that because you're on the uh, you're on the last day. I cannot do that. You're a man struggling to finish his night. Yeah, because and I apparently won't do my wife said if you don't if you do more, we're not going out tomorrow. <laughs> and like, I mean, I'm not kidding. Like the cops, bad boys music almost came on. <laughs> <laughs> as as a member of tomorrow i understand mr big balls man that meatloaf and egg sandwich busted me it'll get as you. it would be any strong man that sounds good i would eat the that right meatloaf now. and egg sandwich is the, it like listen when you eat a meatloaf and egg sandwich you are in a bad sandwich. place in your life right now like and you have to eat that i would do it though i would, try I, would it. I think it's great dude Happy birthday, Jay. You don't look a day over 39, LOL. Just kidding. Much love. That forward hairstyle, though, should be a mainstay. It looks fucking good. Let it grow out. Too sweet, NWO, for like it Adrian. does. Your hair looks great, though. Yeah, by the way, Adrian, uh, you can't say that because you already look like a handsome fucking... You look like you were in Menudo and you became a handsome fucking model afterwards. I don't want to He hear looks like a true model. crime picture before he went evil. Like, he used to yeah. be so nice. Like, this is not going to stay, okay? I don't care if you don't like my fucking regular hairstyle. I think it looks good, man. I'm not staying. I'm not. I like, think... uh, Nighttime. Okay. Tommy Jarvis, Friday 6th versus Tommy Doyle, Halloween Kills. Jarvis? Jarvis. Jarvis fucks him up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, That's 100%. Fair. Oh, my God. Dude. I do love. I do. Love Jarvis him, wears man. a fucking denim jacket. <laughs> you can't compete with that. It's over. Can't that. Will Arnwine, you sexy motherfucker, looks like Chris Pratt says, Jay, happy birthday. But remember, after waking up from a blackout with your ass hurting, don't believe Mike when he says you fell down some stairs. Don't believe him. There aren't any stairs. That's no, true. There's not any stairs me. in my home. Trust me, I do. I've been there before. And it wasn't my 40th. <laughs> it was my 38th, my 37th, and my 34th. He's used to it by now, pal. It's just a regular standard event. That's how we deny it with each other. Like, that's how we kind of get through our dark moments. Yeah, Jacob says, yes. hey, if you're passed out. Yeah, exactly. What? That's everybody knows that. By the way, Mike, have you listened to any of the 90s to 2000s skate punk bands? My absolute favorites are Melancholy, Love Melancholy, uh, MXPX, Lag Wagon, and GOB. <laughs> GOB has a fuck. I can't remember the name of it right Gob. now. Gob. Uh, give up the grudge, shut your fucking mouth. Why you gotta judge everybody but yourself? That's probably the wrong band. Must Check just out got a job Bridge. at 7 Eleven. <laughs> One of my all time favorite albums, dude. I love Melancholy. They were on those, like, you used to go to uh, like FYE and shit back in the day, and I was always too poor to actually buy full albums. So I would buy those like skate punk CD samplers that were like $5.99 or like $2.99 yeah. or whatever. And I fell in love with so many of those bands like Melancholy back then that's fucking awesome that you bring that up great memories man great memories for sure Kyle, what does a perverted frog say rub it rub it rub it rub, rub it, it. he's a whore it, kyle. he's a dirty fucking whore. kyle you sexy minx you i knew you were a freak <laughs> Oh God, Lee! What the fuck, man? man Not dude, necessary. Come on, here. get out of here, Lee! I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm taking you home, and we're going to prom together. I don't care. <laughs> Jay, if I wasn't far away, I'd pick you up some more beer. I, if I wasn't far away, I'd pick you up some. I too. do. I appreciate that. Yeah. Apparently, like, here's my choices, guys. I got three choices, right? I can go downstairs and have a fight, and that's not going to end well because I'm going to lose. 100% because I, I can't come up 20 with bucks. That's what happens. No, no, no. I no, got no, 20 no, bucks. No, 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 let, let, me, let me explain. I'm going to lose because my wits are dulled and I don't have <laughs> the comebacks that I need. <laughs> Two, I could go do it myself and then wind up in the jail. Yeah, don't do that. You don't no, want to no, do that. Obviously, don't do that. that. <laughs> Fight the system. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not turning. Jay, I'm not, Jay, I'm Jay, not. Jay. No, no, no. Jay. And then she's, three, not, she's not watching, right? No, but she might not turn it on. Kill her. Tell her. Go down there. Tell her. Just listen to me. And three. Shut the fuck up. Let me. Let me do. Uh, my third option is is not having an after birthday party tomorrow because she's going to be very mad if she, she were can't to say go no. Yeah, it's yeah, your birthday. Had, yeah, no, yeah, she, she can't say no to you on your birthday. It's, listen to me. What, what time is it? It's ten thirty. God damn it! It's only ten thirty. 
Yeah. It's only well, 10.30. They stopped serving at 1. Yeah, you got two and a half fucking hours. I'm going to walk there, there motherfuckers. And then by the time <laughs> I get there, I'll you be sober. Walk. And I won't even want to do it. You go fucking down there. And you tell her, it's my fucking 40th birthday. No, I'm, not, I'm only going to turn 40 one fucking time. Dude, now dude. you fucking get your sober ass in that fucking Corolla. And you go she get me Corolla. some beer. Or I swear to God, when you're 40, I'm going to die. And that's what you tell her. I'm going to die on your 40th birthday I just tried. as a fucking Listen, thing. I, I, I walked in there like RoboCop to the bedroom. <laughs> I, I was walking very robo robotic. And I pushed, and I, I said it as a matter of fact. Like you broke the law. I said, <laughs> go get me more beer. Yeah. You said, tell her. And then tell she's her. Like, I don't even know what fucking time it is because she's not watching. It's only 10 30. What the fuck? Come I know on. she's been sleeping. And then she's like, I don't know what fucking Wake time up. it is. I was like, can you please go get me don't some more beer? So much. Then I got uh, I got pussy lips and I was like, Can you please go get me more beer? And she's like, No, baby, because you're gonna be drinking tomorrow anyway. So it's your 40th birthday. And then you know what I did? You know what I did? I threw a hatchet at her face and she dodged it. <laughs> She's dead now. She got hit by a bus. No, she, she died. dodged it. <laughs> <laughs> you no, I, you know what? I got you know what? You know, uh, she's right. I'm gonna be drinking tomorrow. Like, I get on these things, dude. I get on these things. Like, I've been drinking tonight. I want to have a good time. I wanna I wanna make the stream fucking seven hours. We can't do that. We can't. We're getting ready to we're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to leave in just a couple minutes. So everybody give Jay the best advice you can in the in the chat right now on how to get his wife to go get him some more alcohol no, 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 his 40th don't do birthday don't do that because if Use she watches it. the replay it's going to be like oh, oh. like don't do that <laughs> hey we love you lee you're the thank fucking you, best dude thank you so fucking much man holly says curious have there any have there been any wham love connections those are stories you don't want to know about what holly. do you mean like um, what, what does that mean like wham I imagine love like like i mean like not like for me, subscribers I can that. like getting with each other, or like I don't know what that means. Like, I mean, I, yeah, there's been a I, it's been a crazy sordid history of 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 yeah. wham connections throughout time. I don't know. I've had a lot. I've had a lot of nude pictures in my inbox, but uh, I can proudly say that I've never acted on any of them. Um, but as far as community members, um, there have been a couple people who have hooked up. I know through the Wham connection, mm -hmm. uh, and there's been a couple people who wanted to hook up, and they sh they had lofty goals that they shouldn't have had, and that ended poorly for them. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What am I? God damn, Holly, are you fucking Diane Sawyer? Are you coming in with the fucking gut punch to ask You're the right question? Report. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> and I'll bail you out, my friend. All hey. right, well, that's it. Lee, where are you there at? You like, I mean, come on. She has no excuse now. You got no, bail money. I'll, you got I'll, fucking everything. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go fucking do it. I'm not. It's your birthday. I, I, I Like, I don't want this video taken down. I'm not really going to drop that. <laughs> I'm going to hey, walk. Buddy. I'm going to walk drunk to the liquor store. And if I get picked up for public intoxication, I'll be like, fuck you, dude. My friend Lee's going to bail me out. Hey, pal, if I, if I, if I was there <laughs> with you, I, I'd walk. I'd hold your hands all the way there. No, we would. Um, That's the sad thing about us. It's like We're alcoholics because we'd be like, I support you. It's Mike happen. would be like, I support you, dude. You probably yeah. shouldn't drink anymore, but I support you. I'm going to I'm gonna walk with you. And then, by the way, when you get there, can you also get me a tall boy? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> and put 100%. it in a paper bag. Jay, you go down there. We're getting ready to end the stream in just a second. You go down there and you tell her you're never going to turn 40 a fucking again. So all you need is a sixer at Michelob Ultra, and tomorrow's going to be even better. All right. I do, I, that's literally what I said. I was like, dude, I just want to, like, I try to, like, I try to downplay it. I try to downplay it. Like, it's like I'm asking for some Diet Coke. I'm like, I'm just like a six pack. Like, it's a six pack. Hey, and then she's like, you want me to call her? She's like, no, dude, don't. And she's like, <laughs> She's like, she's like, she's like, no, baby, come on, you're gonna be drinking tomorrow. I'm like, all right, I'll get a tall boy then. It's like, it's dude, it's and like we were like, kids. And she's like, I know, dude, it's the same fucking thing. And I'm, and she's like, no, I'm like, but maybe. And she's like, no, and I'm like, and then I get fucking mad, dude. Like I, I get like Robert De Niro, Raging Bull, fucking mad. I'm like, it was like, uh, and I'm like, waiting, what the he's fuck like, you mean, no? He's like, come on, ah. Uh. No, uh, and then she's like, uh, "You drank enough." And I'm like, "Who the fuck are you to tell me that I've drank enough? Who the fuck are you to tell? Like, I'll tell you when I've drank enough. When I pass out in a fucking sewer, and then that's you pass cool. out. Yeah, well, obviously, 
<laughs> Yo, but dude, if you want me to, I'll do like we used to do when we were kids. Like when uh, we were no, afraid our mom. That. That's, our, gonna, our, that's gonna aggravate the situation. But you remember, like when our mom wouldn't let us stay the night. It's like, dude, ask your mom if we can stay the night. It's like, yeah, dude, she'll let you stay the night. But like your mom's gonna say no. It's like, all right, have your mom call our mom, and then we would sit around my mom and watch her call your mom on the phone and be like, hey, the boys want to stay the night, and we sit around her and she'd be like, okay, that sounds good. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're fucking yeah. Doing it. it's happening. I mean, She's got good. I I understand what she's doing, what she's doing. Like she's not trying to be like an asshole about it. But I mean, at the, same, at the same time, I'm like, I get what you're trying to do. But like, I also uh, am subscribing to the fact that I'm not going to turn 40 again. And it, yeah. uh, it technically is still my birthday, right? Man I mean, only turns 40 once. Go get that man some beer. Everybody like I'm not put it. I look at I see in 50. Put it in your mind's well, eye. 50. I'm yeah, seeing it. Shut I'm, up. I'm looking at 90. 45. Everybody together. Everybody shut the fuck. Hey, everybody shut the fuck up. Stop fucking talking. Everyone shut the fuck up. Put it in your mind's eye. It's fine. Shut the fuck up. Everyone shut the fuck up. Just for a second. I want everyone to fucking put into the universe. Jay's going to get another six pack of Michelob Ultra to celebrate the rest of his 40th birthday until midnight strikes. Shut the fuck up and do it. It is so. Jay, go get your fucking six pack. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. It'll be a fantasy six pack, and I like it's that. happening. I believe it. You believe it too, dude. I can do it, but like it, it, it like it, it comes with a cost. It comes with a co- <laughs> what it co- it cost? No, 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 no. It, like, listen, like no shit. Like it, it comes with a price. Like you can, you can. Uh, <laughs> I can do it. I, I think I can. I because I'm not gonna be stupid and drive. Like I'm not that dumb. Yeah, yeah you don't do that. Yeah, no, no, I'm 40 years that. old. I'm not doing that anymore. But I could be like. I could get it to the point where it could happen, but dude, tomorrow is a fucking god. You go tell her there's 315. Ultimate. There, t- just tell her there's 315 people in this chat, and that what? Mike oh my called god, her out and you. said 315 people said they Jay deserves a fucking six pack of Michelob Ultra. Go get that shit. Yeah, but I I'm love drunk, you, dude. April. I, I, I know, but I'm drunk. I mean, she's probably. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to be like, I just want you somewhat sober when I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair assumption like, that's that, fair. that could be what it is okay you know I mean? that's fair like that could be yeah that's fair like that's hey, fair here's hoping you get both buddy here's yeah. here's hoping you get both I hey get, thanks everybody for celebrating hey, jay's birthday with us tonight you guys. you guys are awesome you guys are fucking amazing i cannot believe how generous and amazing you guys have been tonight it's been insane uh literally uh i, I thought it was gonna be a goof we do like an hour and a half or two hours of me and mike just you know, reminiscing and talking, but hey, you know what? Maybe me and Mike should just go to Twitch and 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 join the just talking, fucking uh, like the subgroup because that's oh, all they yeah. do. We just talk too far. <laughs> Why don't you let me have me offenses? Happy for you, buddy. I right, thank you, man, uh, and thank you all uh, for all your birthday wishes. And um, I mean, you guys are are the re- are the reason why the channel exists, and and um, I don't think there's a better community. I really don't. I don't think there's a better community than what me and Mike have have. Uh, I don't. I don't even. I don't even like saying made, or, or like at least uh, created a space for all you awesome people to congregate in. Uh, it's been uh, shit, dude. Uh, 2012 is when me, me and Mike started this channel, and it's been a, a fucking roller coaster ride. But 2024 now, I'm 40 years old. You guys are awesome. You guys have always been supportive. We love you guys, and I uh, can't thank you enough. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You just spilled your beer, didn't you? you right on my Power Rangers fucking statue. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Good night. See you guys. Woo! Suck a dick, Texas.